Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games and the home of the 6th Annual Atari Homebrew Awards. And today we're going to be playing through all of the nominees for the Atari 7800. Oh, yes. Today, so we're diving deep. Oh, in. yeah. Checking out some amazing games. All the nominees, which, you know, inevitably are really great games. Diving deep, but also scra scratching the surface. <laughs> At the same time. Because <laughs> it's only going to be like I think we're doing five minutes per... Breadth rather than depth. That's right. Yeah, we're, we're going wide, but not too deep today. Right. We're skating on the <laughs> rank of the 7800. Yeah, so today we're going to be doing the best Atari well, 7800. You need to remove your After Dark logo, apparently. Oh, it is not After Dark anymore. Not that... Uh, it changes the world. But. And I need to put your name up there, too. Taylor Swift would win. <laughs> I do, right. This is the thing. This That's is the right. Part. I do know she will be at that Super Bowl. Will she be performing? We don't know. We'll find <laughs> That's out. That's right. I, yeah, hearing people like betting on what she's going to wear, what color top. What... Will she get proposed to? Yeah. Oh, oh my so much. God. Oh. You drop the Swift, Gamma Dev. What are you doing? Yeah, it's like a reality TV show. Uh, the, oh, there we go. Yo, some icons. When yeah, I, I just when I was those younger, yesterday. <laughs> younger with, <laughs> right. with the... different beard there. <laughs> yeah. I can't remember where I got that photo from, but I think it was one of the, uh, award shows. That makes sense. I was just looking for like higher quality photos. Yeah. So I put those icons in yesterday. So the two cats are in there. All the four co-hosts oh, are in there. This so is working yeah. good, man. Uh, so the categories we're going to be playing today best atari 7800 homebrew original import it is combined this year um due to the numbers a little bit lower for completed for 7800s uh we're also going to be playing atari 7800 work in progress original and work in progress ports so about 17 games we're gonna fly through good, and though. we have played i i'm pretty sure all of these games before on the show so if you want to see more in depth playthroughs just check back in earlier uh shows but this is kind of a just running through them all there's the doorbell <laughs> he's getting a doorbell i'll be right back <laughs> see isn't she an agent from outer space by now i think she might be i also think she could be a were panther i would not be surprised if she transforms and roams the jungle in panther form that's potentially a possibility but yeah, man, I'm super stoked to play these games and check out like the 7800. I, as much as James said, like he's played them all. I definitely have not played. Yeah, them so all. some of them will be new for you. I'm gonna this will be like. Mm, I didn't oh, even open man. the door. Two people wearing reflective vests. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> not nah, really not today. Because all I would do is open the door and go, sorry. Yeah, so I'm not gonna. It's gonna be the same uh, whether I say no or not. Open so, the door. Sometimes when you're dealing with strangers, you just have to confidently say no and leave. Yeah, because some people, unless you you're gonna get something, it's sometimes it's just a waste of time. Oh, and you yeah. can just go no. Because you're just... wasting their time and your time. Yeah. Because if you know the outcome is gonna be sorry, no, please, bye. Yeah. Yeah. So many people will be like, oh, I'm just uh, I, maybe. Uh, okay, I'm... just tell me what 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 this is all about, and then they'll say no to be polite. It's like nah, just avoid the whole thing. We've got some mail. Uh, let's see. It says it's from Activision Patch Club. Ooh. Ooh. What is that? That sounds promising. Yeah. That sounds promising. These cats look a little high right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's been a while, about two hours for them. They got they got it right at the beginning of the after dark. Let's see what this is. It's a oh, script. It's a whole bunch of stuff. Oh my goodness. Let's see. It says reboot games. Congratulations, River Raider. <sighs> You have answered the challenge and have become an ace raider. Your unrivaled courage and skill allowed you to fly alongside your brothers and sisters. Thank you for taking part in our training exercise. Your name has joined the very few brave men and women who dared to participate in this harrowing competition. In honor of your valiant achievement, we are proud to enclose your official Ace Raider patch. Ace! You have shown what it, uh, you have what it takes to join this epic voyage. Keep up the good uh, work, Ace Raider. Humanity is counting on you. Respectfully yours, Fleet Commander. And there's a whole bunch of great stuff here. Let me switch over and show everybody what this is. So here is the letter that I got and 
Here is the Ace Raider patch. There we go. That's too bright. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Auto adjusting camera. And I also got two stickers as well. Uh, Jumping at Shadows and Jaguar 64 bit. Um, this was from a recent competition that was held in the Atari Age forums for Raiding Rivers, a Jaguar game made by Reboot. And I, uh, I tried my best. I tried my best and I got in. I did my best. I did my best. <laughs> and I got in fourth place. Congrats. Um, after, I, I think I was second, and then two people bumped me. But I, I gave it my best, and, uh, and I was very happy with my score. And so they gave out a, a number of patches to the people participating. Oh, dude, I watched yeah. you do this, actually. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, nice. It, it was a long, a long game. Yeah, I remember um, watching. I was I was lurking in the chat. Yes. Um, so this is from Machine, who made these awesome patches. He has made a ton of other patches. Um, and also, obviously, uh, Reboot, Cyrano J. Thank you so much. Hey, nope, nope, Bernie. <laughs> Good night. It's attacking Bernie. No. Thank you so much for uh, putting on this contest and offering these patches. It's such a cool continuation of what Activision was doing back in the 80s, giving away patches to high scores. Uh, there's another letter here. Let's see what this one says. Oh, one second. Let me find my mouse. There we go. And this one says... I know what this one says, but I'll read it now, but I don't deserve it yet. Let's say this is, uh, hey, pss, 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 pss. no, you don't deserve it either. Uh, Gravitic <laughs> Mines. Congratulations, pilot. You traveled through a legion of Gravitic Mine worlds in order to reach and conquer Corinthia Prime level four or five. You've accomplished what few others can attain the right to call yourself EWS pilot. Your formidable journey took unrivaled courage. I'm not going to read the rest of it because I didn't earn this. I was going to say, yet. like, uh, you're not a. I'm not a pilot. I'm not an EWS pilot. Like, what? Are you? Um, but I will show it. But um, I do need to still earn this. He uh, sent this to me just in anticipation of of earning it, um, and I'm still. It is still in my after dark schedule. I think I made it up to th World Three. Three, three, four. You gotta get to four, five, man. Oh, it's a ways. But um, I've been told that. The level I'm on is the hardest level. If you can beat that, then you then it's then you can do anything. Smooth sailing. Well, smoother sailing. There. <laughs> so there's the letter. Congratulatory yeah, it's, letter. It's like hot ones, you know. They give the hottest <laughs> wing, right. like as like I the seventh to, one, right? Not I've the last made it one. To the seventh. Yeah. <laughs> or I've whatever not made it is. To the tenth wing yet? Yeah, you you gotta get through the da bomb, and then you. <laughs> oh, then you're smooth sailing. I'm on the da bomb right now. <laughs> That's what's happening. Hundred percent. There's, there's the patch. There's the pilot I keep D card, and this is laminated. This card, check this out. This is like proper. Yeah, this looks like a key card you would like log into, like, or look... you'd use it to like tap an elevator key. Yeah, is what it really looks like. Is it to me on the forums? It looked like a paper one, and I was like, oh, cool. But this is like super proper. This Most is really impressive. awesome. <laughs> Most impressive. So thank you, uh, Machine, for saying that in anticipation. Um, I, I am very dedicated to trying to get the high scores, finish games. You got to now, man. Well, now the pressure's on even it's more. It's got to happen. <laughs> it has Speedy to happen. Speedy B says it shows some confidence in your ability, Pilot. Well, I, I have done, finished a lot of games. I've, I've worked my way through the games. I mean, we're, we're six years in <laughs> today. Is the sixth year anniversary of ZPH. Are you serious? Yes, really? Today? today. Oh, yo. So, February uh, 9th, 2018 was the first show that uh, ZPH did. And uh, it happens to fall on a Friday. This is, this is so it's great. I didn't need to schedule a separate show. You 100% you don't have to do this. This is impromptu. <laughs> but you should just for just for memes pull up just a frame of what that very first show looked like. Just to, just to see, a just a JPEG. Go. Just to, uh, I'll bring it up. I'll show you <laughs> at some point. I'd just be great. I'll do to it right see. now. <laughs> um, but In celebration. Just some stats. <laughs> so we've done countless live guests. 
Um, Countless. <laughs> on the developer spotlights, true, yeah, yeah. the Atari Age days, the award show. We've talking, talked to so many people from the Atari community on the show. We've done, si well, we're about to do six Atari Homebrew awards shows. Uh, we've done over 500 streams. It's closer to 600, but uh, it's hard to count because... Yeah, it's hard to count. Um, so lots and lots of streams. Uh, no cake today. Fives and zeros. We'll do it on the fives and zeros. <laughs> That's right. That's too much cake. <laughs> yeah, I even put in here. Look at that. No cake today. No, it, it is. It is truly. It's written right there. You didn't see me type that no, just no, now. No, that's, no that's, cake today. That's legit in there. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's let's check out the first show. Just it's for fun. Grossly we, embarrassing. We don't have to watch it for too long, but I think it would just be a fun little tribute to sort of see how far this has come. Oh, yeah. Um, actually, the, said it is on YouTube now. I think it probably it is. is. They're yeah. all on YouTube, yeah. And you, can, uh, and you can obviously, like, go back and look at it yourself, but I think getting James's reaction to it is what we're here for. My embarrassment. <laughs> yeah. Let's check it out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mute it. Um, Look at this logo, this early stuff. Oh, yeah. They haven't seen it yet. Let's put it up there. Uh, YouTube. There we go. Look, Spies of the Night as well. So this is the first games we ever played on the stream. Uh, Super Cobra Arcade, Ixion, and Spies of the Night. And this was only tw the 2600. Look at that frame Look, rate. Different camera. That's not because we're playing it through a stream. That's the frame rate. It is like, I don't know. Yeah. Five frames a second. <laughs> <laughs> You're like waving to be like. There's no, no intro. We're just like, is this working? Kind of thing. Skip somewhere in the middle. Let's see yeah. some light. Yeah, that's not bad. I can set up my tablet here. I think I can hear the fan from the microphone. <laughs> oh, everything. Everything's terrible. Yeah. Oh, stupid ads. There you are. And there's like nobody watching. <laughs> this zero like, people. like literally nobody watching. We even make a joke about that because when we first started our radio show back 25 years ago, Darcy and I, that was like a joke. Hello to nobody out there. Hey, <laughs> Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, uh, the very first streamy stream. <laughs> a little peeking on the audio. A oh, little audio peek. Everything's set up so well. Yeah, this would have been pre sprite. Oh, yeah. Um, Pixel would have been Pixel around. would have the homie. Can't see it, but it's there. Um. <laughs> yeah, skip to somewhere in the middle just yeah. to see, like. With limited fuel reserves. The... And you don't want to end up running out in the middle of the enemy. So the camera shot's pretty similar. Uh, yeah, pretty similar. And I think we had a, a the camera kind of right in front but low yeah yeah rather than and, and then we thought oh, that that kind of sucks <laughs> having that view now he's looking up our nose oh and then we uh oh and i think the camera uh cut out so you you had to go over oh the no yeah oh we had two cameras did we oh, i don't know yeah one of the cameras died then we had to go to webcam which actually worked better oh yeah Right, looks like capture. there's a. Do we have more frame rates out of the webcam? Oh, 100 percent. Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing. And this was two computers ago. Yeah, that's the that thing. computer was at the end of its life at that point. Now I'm. I've got crazy computer. <laughs> then I set up the webcam way back, which was a bit better. Nice wide angle. Yeah, you can kind of see the shelf as it was there. That was my. Uh, Homebrew collection was like just that. See the saturation and on your shirt that, is oh, it's a little like, uh, <laughs> out of control. So you can actually count how many homebrews I have. Yeah. So it was like uh, maybe ten in the box and uh, fifteen on cartridge. Beware mercury inside. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's that's the little stick. <laughs> Let's Man, see this. Darcy's shirt rocks, though. That is that is yeah. has not changed. That's a great no, shirt. No, he still wears that shirt from time to time. So let's see how I end it. He just stops? <laughs> Maybe. Oh. Force myself to learn. But uh, that'll be taking place throughout the year. But um, so thank you for joining me today and you guys out there. And we'll see you next time. <laughs> Whoever it was. How do you think they keep the mercury in this thing? <laughs> like, get it or keep it in there? Keep it in there. Like, keep it in there. Like, <laughs> get it. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs>
<laughs> then it just ends. It just oh, ends. that's great, dude. Oh, so funny. How many viewers? Uh, I, I don't... I, I don't know if Twitch would have kept that stat. Oh, actually, at, at the beginning, I did keep track of stats just to see um, the numbers as they grew. I might, I might have kept it back there, but they erase it after a while. Let's see. Let's open up my documents. Uh, Twitch stats. But now I don't. I don't really care anymore. <laughs> given up <laughs> yeah ending, on, ending on a cliffhanger about the mercury question yeah, that's right how i can they, how do they keep it in there smitty i can bet you oh, i don't have that it. we never found out the answer in the next episode <laughs> i no. mean maybe we did but i i don't think there was any research if i had to bet i think that i think that might have be a question we we still are waiting the answer for so the earliest i have was three months later um, of her stats. Uh, maybe I can go back in time and check it out, but I don't think so. Um, 10 people chatted. That's nice. That's good. <laughs> On, in 2018, uh, May 4th, uh, six average viewers, 10 max viewers, um, 21 unique people. So we can just assume that it must have been less than that because that would have been three months in, right? Oh. So that would have been... There maybe would have been two people watching because you'd have to discover it by random i i don't even i don't know if i announced it made it like a dan big... abc said he was there he was watching the first what? show so dan might have been one of the two people there's a good Sorry, chance knocked dan, right there. Oh, it's fine dan actually if you look at his stats i don't know if people can but i can he subscribed to zero page before it started dude so the chance of him seeing it that is like a very good chance like months before it started, because I announced on uh, the Atari Age forums that I would be doing a show coming up, just to kind of let people know. Maybe I shouldn't have. It's pretty embarrassing. <laughs> now Back it's then. good stuff, man. It's good to see you. <laughs> um, okay, so well, let's move on from that. Yeah, good, good to open but, a little uh, memory box every once in a while. Yeah, so I have... I put a little cake here. Oh, some new icons. This is awesome Yeah, so you see. can see the new icons just for fun. There's the cake. Um, that's just for today, but, um, there's the cats, there's me, there's you, Darcy, and Tanya. Who's, who's the, who are the other people on the bottom? Oh, probably random. Like those people? Yeah. Oh, those are just frequently used. Okay, cool. These are the Z ZPH ones. Oh, okay, there. cool. Because yeah. I was like, who are these people? The cake <laughs> is a lie. The cake is a lie today. The cake yeah. is a lie, my friend. <laughs> Think about retro streams. Gamma Dev says you can't gauge the year by the tech in the background. Absolutely true, except for maybe this now. But um, yeah, it's like, oh, boxes of old games. Yeah. It's like, oh, <laughs> impossible to tell. Better frame rate at the end, it seems. Yeah, because we switched over to the webcam because I think the camera overheated. Yeah. Or the frame rate was too low. Or I think I had to switch the capture card to the one I was using for the camera for the video game. Then I had to switch the webcam for the video camera. It was, it was a mess. Messy, messy. It was messy for quite a while, actually. Uh, let's see, any other business? Um, oh, um, we had to reset the Atari 2600 graphics original category in the Atari Homebrew Awards, um, unfortunately, because it was missing, missing a nominated game. So we thought the best way to do it, just start from scratch, let everyone re-vote, because even the people that voted we'll now have to take into consideration the game that was missed. And it was Mick Muse's Tober's Nightmare. It was below in the list of games, but it wasn't actually in the voting options. Ooh, so is it my... Oh, that's that's just... Okay, cool. I, Sorry, I can I fix that, actually. It doesn't matter. I just, I just want to make sure. I'm sure they're not seeing it. But... No, they're not. Um, so we reset it. So if you have voted in the Atari 2600 graphics original category... Please go back, check it out, check the full list now, and re-vote. Um, suppose, like, which if category again? He oh, just... uh, Atari Twenty Six Hundred Graphics Original. I actually, can, I can link it right now. Yeah, this is a good idea. Just to yeah. make sure, just to be fair, and make sure that every everyone gets there. Uh, hopefully, that's it. Nope, that's the wrong one. But I do. 
have a way to get to it. Carl G says he's got it, but I still think it's valuable to, to post it. Yes. Yeah. For everyone else. Uh, there you go. And of course, vote in all the categories as well. Lots of people voting. We're getting very close to last year's numbers now. So it's great. Thank you so much, everyone, for evaluating all the awesome games um, and voting. And we still have uh, another week or under a week. When does oh, when does it uh, end here? Um, it ends... February 18th, so nine more days to vote. So plenty of time to evaluate uh, the categories that you're interested in. And, uh, and that's why we're playing these today, the 7800 category. So you can kind of check out the games, um, see what you like. You can vote based on what you see here or delve deeper into one or more of the games that you see here. Um, yes, yeah, so let's get into it. Oh, and I actually took a poll. Oh, I didn't read out the names yet. Uh, let's read out the names first. Uh, so the Twitch subscribers, thank you for subscribing and still supporting us after six years of broadcasting. 8-Bit Poet, Aldifer, Andre, Atari, Arkham, H7, Amscar, Coder, Atari, Denner, Dex, L Rules, Atari, H74, Atari, H, Beef, Supreme, BR, Polka, Bruno, Stacks, Calico, 333, Cell Charles, Donnie, Mal, Charles, Willen, Chitlala, Crypto, Coffee, 13, Cyrano, Reboot, Dale, Andrew, Darling, Dan, if you see Daryl, 9070, Dave, M, A, Z, DMX, 87, Drex, All, Doc, Mook, Has, Fiero, Doug, Gamer, Composer, Gamma, Dev, Ganks, Off, D Great, Defender, Ground, Trooper, Ju Harold, Geraldo, Ju Jimothy, Sunshire, uh, Johnny WC, Kabuto Kenzo, Carl G, Karakat, Croco 2600, Veltfer, Lambda Express, Lord Cracker, Machine Gex, Mark Yannis, Mark Spacing, Mental Atari, McMuse, Mike Soul, Mike the Thomas, Command MK Swift, Mother 3, Mester's Armbo, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strom, Neo Mini, Nostalgic, Pseudographics, Koagarsh, Antwitz, RC70, Render Ghost, Repentless Fever, Evan Tooley, Ricardo Pim, Rodcaster, Six Sweets, Mitty B, Spice Wars, Spinley, S. Ramirez, Stage 1 Boss, A D Train, Tiki Dan K, TM Events, Token Muncher, Trek MD, Twilight Zoner, Vexor X, Vintage Gaming Memories, VVG Double Down, X Can X. That's the most names we've ever had on the list great birthday present for the show thank you so much if you'd like to subscribe hit subscribe and if you would like to just follow us you can click follow it doesn't cost a thing and you get alerted to when we're uh playing That's games fine. next and the vote i had in the after dark before this show was do you still want me to read all these names out now that there's getting we're inching closer? What was that? What was the to a hundred? It's eighty-two now, <sighs> and I and I said I'd reevaluate it after seventy-five, and it flew past that in the last two shows, which is great. Which is awesome. The support that everybody's showing. Um, that uh, we reevaluate it. What was the vote? What was, was the vote? The... Uh, the options were keep reading the names or do something else and then make a suggestion uh keep reading the names one that makes sense and so you know the majority want me to keep reading names i'll keep reading names till you're sick of them you know maybe when we hit 100 i'll ask you again you're like yeah it's too many <laughs> I, I need to do something else here i think there was a, like a story of a guy online who was like i'm gonna do a push-up for every like subscriber Ooh. that i get and so he wow. went, and then he's and then at a certain i point, think i would rather start it, earlier it, like at that point apparently it exploded and then he was like guys i don't know if i can do a 1.4 million push -ups. <laughs> <laughs> or something like that like or i don't know if i could do forty-seven thousand push-ups like vice versa no it was people wanted me to keep reading the names uh, 6337. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a lot. Of, you could do it cumulatively. It's like, oh, I'm up to <laughs> 20,000 now. But that is, like but that. it is an interesting question of like, with things like reading subscribers, it does reach a point where you're like, it's the, the whole show, the whole show. But I mean, that's a nice problem to have. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, when is, when is enough enough? When is yeah. it too much? They just want me to read it faster. So it's on me That's to right. get through it faster. Like they give me a time limit. Maybe it's like, That's you right. got to keep it under a minute, no matter how many people get on it. Um, but regardless, thank you so much for, for all the support. Uh, the cats really appreciate all the treats. They so we're able it. to keep buying the treats. Option two, one. So people don't want me to read them. Uh, where's the, where was the poll? Where does it say it? Uh, I'd have to <laughs> do an instant replay yeah, again. Yeah, pull it up. Oh no, well, let's do it. Let's get. We gotta do it. We gotta do it. And then we'll get into it. some games. But uh, we're getting some complete. No, that's stuff. right. Okay, no, the option two won, but I said some people still want me to read the names, and those are the people that are subscribing. 
So should I let down the people who want me to read their names and go against the subscriber wishes? Demands yeah. a recount. No, oh. I, no, I remember now. I, I, I remember I said I was going to continue because some people still wanted me. And I said if there was an overwhelming amount of people stopping, wanted me to stop reading, then I'd be like, okay. But, I mean, yes, let them down. <laughs> let those people let down. Let them down. My will is the will of If I... All. They were suggesting, like, read out just the new people. Yeah. Um... I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Sounds like some pondering, perhaps another poll <laughs> but, in a uh, few weeks. <laughs> but unlike the Brexit vote, I don't have to stick to it. <laughs> That's exactly right. Yeah. It was it was more to inform me of what people are thinking. This th theoretical data. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's just a poll to get the the, the the will of the people and see what they would like, but you know these people. And are if you think about it, it's assessing a moment in time with a specific population. That's right. Though it was only representing some of the subscribers. I, like there's there's dozens of them. There's dozens of us, but um, <laughs> it's not all the subscribers. Compromise by reading out every Twitch username that's not on the list. Yes, chastise them. That's, that's exactly the, right. That's people who haven't subscribed. <laughs> How do you like... do that? I guess per show, but then I'd have to do a like an intersection, and and yeah, that's harder to do. That would take a bit of bit of. Also, what's the reward then for subscribing? Because when I chastise them, well, that, you could yeah. chastise them, but the thing is, is, I feel like part of the fun is like getting to hear your name read. It is. So it is this thing: if you don't subscribe, you'll get you hear your name <laughs> Suddenly read. Suddenly they every start week. dropping off. You're like, I want to hear my name. You're like, no, <laughs> the opposite of that's insane yeah, the absentee ballots exactly. Yeah, it's like I want to hear my name read, so I'm gonna not subscribe. subscribe. I'm gonna unsubscribe so I can hear my name. This yep. is this is the kind it's of like, stuff. It's like it's like the the things where people were paid to get rid of the pests like the snakes in a certain territory people started breeding snakes yeah and they're like oh five dollars a head for each snake i catch we're breeding snakes we're yeah. gonna be rich <laughs> i can see how it's like is... you think you're gonna do one thing but the opposite starts uh that you don't get your name butchered that you know, that, you know what they call those good. unintended consequences yes <laughs> you have to think everything through and even then there are always unintended consequences All, always don't i know it running the atari homebrew awards so many unintended consequences especially when you just like test something to the public so, oh you really find out <laughs> what, what's going on you're like oh, oh yeah and and in a way that's the beauty of games you see that so often oh. with games right where you you think because you're looking at it a certain way and then like you release the game and all of a sudden you're like i didn't intend you to do that oh, my hundred hour game got finished in two minutes because they found a, a super glitch that gave them full power oh no, we must <laughs> patch it they, they they stole the super weapon from the undefeatable boss two minutes into the game that's a problem didn't think about that uh... <laughs> oops somehow they figured out how to kill the boss before it's... he magically disappeared and said his big plan the power of user testing to the hordes of the internet <laughs> yep people will find a way uh, let's start in on the best Atari 7800 homebrew original import. Now, I, I usually do them in order, but I've, I've switched this one just for one game because I have to do a special yeah, setup for, technical reasons. for one game. Uh, it's, um, Four Ducks Away, um, which is a light gun game. So I have to set up a CRT and four light guns and the quad Tari, uh, which is a lot. And then I'm just going to, we're going to do that game and then move it out. That's right. Um, so this is by Blake Smith, Smitty B, and it was nominated for Best Atari 7800 Work in Progress Original. Nice. So let's check this out. Yam on the Moon will forever be a highlight of the show. Yeah. Um, is that a legendary ZPH moment? Yeah. Tanya was playing Bruce Lee on the Atari 8-bit, um, and somehow she got the playable enemy to jump out of the play field and start walking on the clouds and he got to the moon. Oh. <laughs> it was so crazy. It was so And the funny. meme was born. Yeah, Yama on the moon. Yama on the moon, dude. Yama on the moon. Okay. There's, there's an idea for a new icon. Yama on, <laughs> Yama the, moon. on the moon, yeah. Get ourselves a little, a little meme icon. factory. Yeah. Animated GIF of uh, Yama going rah rah rah, Yama on <laughs> standing the moon. on the moon. Okay, we've got definitely warmed up the dragonfly. 
So, we have all four light guns. I'll tell you one We're thing. We're double handing it today. One thing that is nice about me just being a digital boy is I think I get electrocuted a thousand percent <laughs> less than you do. <laughs> you're, you're becoming he commands Thor. lightning. <laughs> I have the power of lightning. <laughs> he stands all, atop the mountain all, and commands all, all the weather. Your, all your like <laughs> analog stuff, you just constantly get electrocuted. <laughs> uh, I do all the time. Zap, zap. It's calmed down a bit. That wi uh, winter has passed a little bit, but I I got zapped by that uh, that cable plugging it in. Just recently. Dude, I got my light phaser dual wielding. Oh, yeah. When you dual wielding light phasers, you know, you're popping off. <laughs> <laughs> it's about to happen. Okay, let's load it up. Oh, I need to switch the audio back. Audio. I was like, who's this? If you enjoy the content, who's writing this? I'm like, oh. Oh. <laughs> They're advertising for me some, for some reason. Like, what's going on? <laughs> Here's the intro. Ducks away. Pew, pew. Very cool. Falling logo. You think it's massive, but then shows the dog and it's... Dunk. <laughs> it's just a tiny, little... Tiny, tiny. So don't press anything yet. I have to get my guns out. So this game can be played with four light, up to four light guns or four uh, joysticks as well if you have the quad tar. If you don't, it can be played with two light guns, one light gun, multiple combinations. Oh, we, we did the trial run at the on the four player. We did. Everything wasn't quite right, but now I've made my own adapters. Oh, your adapters look better too. Yes. Hey. <laughs> they look like rather than painter's tape. <laughs> yeah, I've done some shrink wrap on them so I, you don't have to be super careful with them. Okay. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Okay. Switchers to pop gun, and we're ready. Countdown, three, two, one. Okay. I don't know which, which I am, but uh, we'll see. It may still not count the, um, uh, the scores. Oh, maybe it's working. I'm gonna try with my left now. Oh, no, it's counting the scores properly. Oh yeah, because the uh, the triggers were working before. It just wasn't the the aiming wasn't working before because of my light gun adapters. It's now now working. I mean, when you're dual wielding like fully automatic guns, these ducks don't stand a chance, man. <laughs> they we definitely four. don't. We've got four. Oh, he got 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 shot multiple times, I think. <laughs> oh yeah, they're just game over for Ethical ducks. Ethical hunting. <laughs> <laughs> they are just corks we're shooting at them. That's right. Oh, it's... flashing warning, flashing warning, everyone. I'm, I mean, obviously too late now. This is definitely, like, one of the harder ones to watch as a viewer, I imagine. <laughs> it is. <laughs> this is definitely better to play than to watch, but God, is it fun to play. It is. We'll play to the big duck. Sounds good. Man, I wish that they had more games with like guns like this. It's so oh, like yeah. it's so tactile and fun. I know that there was actually some controversy around um kind of encouraging gun play in <laughs> There is. Like yeah. in the eighties, no one cared. But like I remember even when in the nineties there was even like I I could this is entirely my mother telling me shit, so who knows? But they were saying, yeah, that they like well, they discontinued using guns wow. in and as like home ones because they found they just didn't want people to be uh True. Encouraging. Like they don't show them as guns anymore. You have like the Wiimotes. Um, exactly. But they don't look like guns. But you can get add-ons that you put them in. Oh yeah, and I, I feel like there was like... But the official companies don't put them out. But in the 70s, light guns... Hey, Red Duck! Uh, um, looked actually like guns. That's like right. if you took them out in the street today, people would be like, oh my god, it's got a gun. And I think sadly, it's interesting there was like a period where like people were so concerned about violence in video games. And I think now oh. it's gone full circle where they're like, please, kids, play. kids hanging out playing video games are the least of our concerns. But in <laughs> yeah. like the 90s, early 2000s, there really was this craze of like, we, you know, not understanding. I think it's so mainstream now though, gaming. It what? is. Everybody plays games, so it's like hard to criticize. And there's no link found. Oh, they're stealing our rice. No. Rice balls. I need my rice. 
Oof. From the top, they don't stand a chance. When they're on the bottom, it found it a little bit harder to get them. Oh, red duck. No! They haven't been able to successfully steal one yet. Oh, he had one in his, his graphs. They're, oh, getting, they're getting a bit more. Pesky ducks. God, we got a lot of corks that we just did. <laughs> Unending corks. Uh oh, bread ducks. I have no idea who's winning. Is it worth showing off a bit of the dog gameplay? Ooh. Oh, oh yes. Okay, so we made it to the big duck. We'll we show just, off the. Do we unload? Oh, <laughs> we just. Oh, the walking ducks. Okay, we should s quickly switch to a dog. Okay. And because we made it to where we said we'd make it, so I'm gonna just reset it and plug in a joystick. Yeah, seizure medicine is not included. <laughs> No, it Dude, it is very John Woo, man. I was just, that's such a, that's exactly right. Because we didn't show off the dog portion of it. You can keep your light gun. Oh. I'll just play yes. the dog. Or do you want to play the dog? I'll do the gun. Why not? Okay. So when you're doing the dog, you, uh. You're all always at the bottom and cool. you're jumping up for the ducks. Oh, so you, I got, did you. Which actually is a, is good for when the ducks are on the bottom of yeah, the screen. So we have like okay. So it'd be good to always have somebody playing that dog. Okay. Oh. oh. Okay, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. damn it. No. Okay, well, I'll let you get your thing set yes. up and then I'll fire. I was I was I have to go left and right. I thought was it was a, the button. I was a little gun tr gun trigger happy is yeah. what they would call it. And as it. soon as one person's in, it starts the countdown. That's right. And all the people just have to get on board. And quick. all I got to do is click these so I'll, I'll wait. <laughs> yeah. Yo, what up? Spike? Hi. You had a treat. You have to wait at least a little bit, okay? Just a little bit. You can hold the button to speed up the intro is what someone said. Oh, hold the button. Okay. Well, we're already done. Okay. Dog. Bam. We are good to go. You're going to dual gun. wield again? Why yeah. not? I it's mean, if I... Gun. Dude, I got it. So I got the, <laughs> we got the tech, so... Yep. Oh. Dog is... Only moves left. No! No! Dog! I'll jump. Oh no, the dog threw... Well, this is a work in progress still. I'll just press the button so I can jump. Oh, don't shoot. I want to get a duck. Yes! Oh, let me get one more. Then we'll move on. Oh. Oh. You're dodging me. Oh. No, it doesn't help that you... There, I got the ball. There we go! Man, dog! Game. Very cool. GG! So now I'm going to switch out and get rid of the TV because it's in our way. Goodbye, Commodore. Goodbye. Let me switch over. Wait, so this is like, I never thought about this. This is yep. a Commodore TV. Is it anything yeah, to do with the Commodore 64? It does. It's an official Commodore monitor that was sold as an accessory for the Commodore 64. Model 1708? 1702. 1702. Whoa. And it was the um, better model than the 1701 because it weighed about a million times less. And I had one back yeah, in the day. Yeah, you used to have to be a power lifter in order to transfer TVs from... <laughs> it is still heralded as one of the best monitors, best 13-inch monitors to use um, for uh, retro gaming. And I love it. They're small. I think I've got to play on it a few times in your some of your video game nights. Yes, yes, I bring them out because I've got two of them. I used to have eight of them. <laughs> yes. But we ran out of room and I had to get rid of um, six of them. It makes sense, man. When you have more than half a dozen of something, <laughs> you do have to catch yourself. And they're yourself. not small. And, and you could really only play them, <laughs> use them one at a time in most scenarios. Yeah. I was going for a... I was going for a grid of nine, a, a, a demultiplexer of nine. So it would show one image on nine screens. Like, you know, they have it every, yeah. everywhere now. <laughs> okay, let's... Um, let's yeah, you were trying to up the resolution. <laughs> That's right. It's the SD resolution of it. 
So I'm going to switch over to um, the 7800 game drive now, which has... Yeah, there's these a lot of new tech around um, LED kind of panels that are also televisions that you can, like, click together, and you can make, like, a, oh, like you can... Yeah. And you, they're very popular for, like, um, um, in Asia, actually, because you, you can use them to build, like, an entire, like, wall or, like, side of a building that you can broadcast anything to. And they're and, pretty much borderless now, right? That's exactly right. And they're, like, so high quality because you're not having to deal with, like, a projector bouncing something off, but, like, that whole technique of, like... It's just crazy how far technology's come, like... All that stuff is like Blade Runner. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, while the TV is every 90s movie villain's dream. That's exactly right. That's you, right. The command station. And it's just like this. A whole bunch of monitors. There we go. Ducks away. Ducks away. Okay, now back to our regu regularly scheduled program. Back to... There we go. Now we're doing SCART from the 7800 game drive. Uh, so now we're gonna be playing the best 7800 homebrew original import in order. Um, first one is RT. Um, and I'm gonna be, <clears throat> I'm just gonna plug in the uh, Atari Vox. Good stuff. So any games that have voice or saving will be able to do that. Atari Vox Plus. Oh, Atari, Vo Atari Vox Plus, man, that and beautiful voice. I don't have anything plugged in. The old vocoder. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, not quite a vocoder, but... Sounds like one. It does. Okay, so press left and the button. Left and the button at the same time? Or just press the button, actually. It'll go up a directory. Oh, Let's sorry. see. What is happening? No, I blame Sprite. Sprite! What did you do? What cable did you eat? That's not even like the right directory. Ready. Oh, they're ready. You gotta update some firmware, it says. It's like stuck in a directory. Maybe different, a different controller, potentially? Yeah. It's just a quick, quick fix. Oh, there we go. What's wrong with you, controller? Finally given up. There we go. Now we're there. Already. So, um, just like in the... Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. <laughs> cool. It's dialing oh, its dude. home base. Okay, press okay. the button. Whoa, pokey detected, save device detected. Do I just hit it? Yeah. Muddy vision, yo, muddy. Oh, now it stopped. Good. It's it's set its piece. It's yeah. It's... Um, just like with all the other categories, we're playing the last version released of every game in 2023. So everybody's on a level playing field. So jump into it. Go for start. This is an homage to Hero. Go for it. Oh, it's just sorry. I just love this plane here. It's, it's beautiful. A beautiful animation. Oh, oh gorgeous animation. I just am really enjoying that plane. So up is fly up. We have a, lim a limited number of like. And you can shoot, and you have a limited number of. Um, uh oh, okay. I'm <laughs> of really... dynamite. Okay, yeah. I, I'm still still experimenting. Oh, still experimenting. Uh, Atari box is calm down now. So you go okay. down there, but there's going to be some dangers. Oh, you got to shoot that spider. There you go, and rescue uh, the unnamed uh, chap in the uh, hat that is an adventurer. I don't. He doesn't, there you he, go. he doesn't resemble any iconic character. Sound. Oh, that's right. There's. A... Oh, okay. We got our jam back on. That's oh, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I just switch it over because the the carts. Output differently. This is through SCART. Oh, oh, explosions. Let's see what's up here. Much better. No. Okay. I'm so scared to drop into the unknown in this game. I'm As like, you should be. I'm That's... like, what am I getting into, man? I'm dropping it, down. It is a danger in this one because there could be uh, anything below and uh, jutting out the sides as well. Am I the only one who thinks this guy looks a tiny, like just the head has some Spider-Man? Oh, in just a hint. Always fall down the left-hand side of the no! passage. No! Okay. Because you could accidentally hit a light, and it'll turn out the lights. There you go. 
Oh, you're a natural. Natural. <clears throat> I love these skulls, man. This is the graphics in this game are astounding. Oh. And <clears throat> left, you said left. There you go. Yeah. Careful. Oof. That was close. <clears throat> and it's an homage to um, Hero, which is a classic Activision game, and um, really improves the the handling, uh, joystick handling, when flying up. That's my best. Uh, my oh. oh. What was Sneaky. that? It's a snake that jutted out. Snakes! Snakes! I hate snakes. I hate snakes. <laughs> who, who says... Who, who's got that opinion? No I, idea. No, no, that I... Could be anybody. No one that I recognize. And uh, if there's a wall, that's the way to go down. That's always the way. Yeah. Look, is this I mean, a... you could have gone down the other side, but there would have been lights out. Oh, there's Look. that snake. Look, it's Atlanta Jones. Atlanta Jones, that's right. The, the, the people you rescue might be familiar looking, let's Wait. say, when you encounter them. Uh, that's the remnants like a, a of... A Lorna Craft. Might, they... You might run into a Lorna <laughs> hey, here and there. What's up, Lorna? <laughs> I have no, I'm so scared to drop down. Uh, don't touch those walls. Okay, they're very, they're no. lava walls. Oh, shit. That was unavoidable. Where do I go? Oh, there's a wall to the left. Okay, so I'm just go that up. way. Oh, there you go. Dude, I get a little bit of like light. Yeah, but okay, you that's... only get so many. Now, don't touch that wall. Get close, but not too close. And then, and then when I you back it? off, don't back off too much. Can I you... bomb it? Yep, definitely. Good. There you go. Kicking ass. Yo. Ooh, really good for your first time. Yo, this is. Where's our where's where's our Atlantis? Pitfall Berry, yes. Where's our Atlantis? Oh, oh there's Lorna Craft. Hey, 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 <laughs> hey Lorna. <laughs> Yeah, hey Laura. What's up? <laughs> oh god. There you go. Spikes. No thank you. No. I feel like if I that's gotta be like. Okay, you there said you. the left is yep. always See because you didn't have to use a dynamite going down this side. Oh. Ah, ah. Okay, I'm gonna just Now you got four choices. I'm try so left. Careful when you go down. Careful. Oh, oh no! So watch, it's the ah, next ah, one ah. over. Okay, okay, we learned. We learned <clears throat> our lessons. Or did we? We learn, we laugh, we love. That's right. That's <laughs> just what Right. Oh, oh, no, that is not the right way. Uh oh. So you gotta. Oh, there's a wall. So the unofficial rule is like if there's a wall, that's the way to go. It tends to be the. Oh, 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 that's just. Bad luck there. I don't know what's going on, but I'm good. Oh, 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 there's a little guy. It's hard to see, but there's like little shadows. So. Wait, I died going down here, but. Oh. Okay, this is brutal. What is happening? <laughs> oh, you made it out. That's okay, good. okay, okay. Whew, you're back oh. to the light. Okay, I need... So you have power, but you're almost out of power. Almost... But Oh, you made oh, it just oh, in time. Oh, Lana. Silver, What's up, Lana? Silver spider. Whoa. Professor, you're like 80 years old. You shouldn't be crawling around these caves anymore. Now I have to go save some influencer who had his arm wedged against as a boulder for 127 hours. Yep, that's exactly right. Who might resemble James Franco. <laughs> a little bit. But he's in characters. He's in characters. Oh, wall. You can shoot out the walls if you're... No. Oh, we made Should mistakes. I... Terribly sorry, old bean. We run out of A suits. There you go. That's wow, a that's a cool game. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. All that these was, games are so good. good. Stuff, man. This next one's Harpy's Curse by Todd Fermansky. <sighs> All these games Harpy's are big. Curse, so, dude. there you go. Up. Up. Press it. Yep. Yeah. There you go. Harpy's Curse, dude. By Which one should we do? Oh, uh, no. Uh, it's the, f oh, with the save key. So Maybe let's, let's do, one. go up one. Not the bin. Yeah, that one. Let's do it. I'm going to say new game. New game. Let's, let's, try go. Some, let's try a little new game. Attack when flying. Find mirrors. Okay. So this is an RPG. Um, so we're not going to get anywhere close to finishing. But it'll jump. get a good eye. Double jump? What is this tech? It's flying, actually. So you can continue flying. I would go up to the left, I believe, oh, is the first kind of uh, area you need to go to. Something. So I'll have to sh wait before you go too far. To, to attack, you press, I think, down. So fly up. Hitting down. Oh, oh, the other button. Sorry, second button. And you'll, oh. and you'll kind of do a diagonal. So that's how you oh. hit. Water's fine. Okay, so that's so how you hit enemies. When in doubt. So keep going up to the left. Up to the left. Yeah. So you can hold the button to keep flying up. Oh, 
There you go. Oh, that's how you do it. Just have to get kind of used to the angles. There you go. And it, and, it, and when you hit them, you kind of get life back because you do lose life and gain life quite quickly in this game. This is a good to No, to Eagle! Be, so it's kind of like Joust if you've ever played that Never game. Never played Joust. So with Joust, you attack from the top. Oh, wait, wait, let's go down and around then. Okay, cool. Whoa, I like this. Oh, big heart. Nice. Now oh, you did have, I get an upgrade? You did get oh, an upgrade. That's juicing. a good one. Is that going to kill me? Um... Well, the good thing is if you leave the screen, you're safe. But also the bad thing, if you leave the screen, they come back. No! So it's not no. much point in killing them unless no. you're in danger or no. you have low... I'm in danger. Or if you have low health. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see what's up here. Nothing. And now to keep on going. The harpies. Smitty B says, I love a little splash, splash of water when... Oh, that's where you want to go. What is this? That's the save point. So now you're at the first save Oh, point. I, I, I've already memorized this. It's what, two keys <laughs> plus easy, a feather easy. plus... Pff, dude, I got this. You <laughs> got, yeah, you pff, instant pff, <laughs> snapshot of memory. You might know this about me, but I have a photographic memory for symbols that I, recognize... I did, a, I did a memory, I think it's called. Feathers. <laughs> feathers. It only helps me for niche save codes. Yes. Ooh. So you're at full health, no point in attacking <laughs> anything unless you lose some health. Okay, okay, that's good to know. What's Ooh, this? don't touch those, those spiky spiky? things. Okay, no, thank you. Spikes, you get away. I'm so scared to, like, drop down. I'm like, what am I getting into? More spikes? Yeah, it's one of those games again where you're like, uh, what's coming up? You gotta gently, gently go down. Yeah, it's yeah, like... Lots of spikes there. Yeah, it's like you almost gotta, like, assess the situation, man. There you go. Oh, what's this? Upgrade. Power up, Gorgon Feather. Dude! Up, up and attack on Yo. ground. Try it, try it out. S stay on the ground. Don't fly. See if you can do an attack from the ground. No? Oh, there it is. Was it up in the attack Oh, button? yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta just get my order of operations going. Nice. So I feel like this must unlock some, like, secrets. So what's good is that these seem to be positioned from the top, so it's safe to fly up. Yes. But coming down is the is the fear. Now, there are secret passages Ooh, in this game. Of course there are. To find hidden items and Makes secret sense, paths man. to things. It's an expanse... Oh, try your new attack. Oh, oh. I'm gonna practice my tech? Okay. Yeah, pretty dumb your attack. No. Oh, he didn't lose anything. So maybe it takes two hits. I think so. Like the up attack, maybe not as strong. Okay, as the didn't other I one. already explore this? Ah, I'm already I lost. I don't know. That's the only thing it's I can. It's a huge game. I can memorize save screens, but I got no idea. <laughs> for maps, no memory for No maps. memory. You're like me. I have no memory of this. <laughs> What's that from? It's from Lord of the Rings. Oh, yes, that's right. Oh, no! Oh! oh! No! You better, you better do some attacking and get some. Uh, some oh, oh, okay. Game over. Ouch. But there's a little taste of it. There's upgrades. There's um, areas to find, secrets to find, save points. It's when Gandalf's in the mines of Moria and he looks around. And he's like, I have no, no memory, memory of this place. Um, I don't know the uh, lore behind that one, because there's obviously more to it. Like he lost his memory. It's too confusing. I think it's just the mines are just like so expansive that it was just right. like because he he was in that area, I'm sure. But like years before, I think. So, so let's do Mario Brothers now. Wait this... a second. Wait a minute. Wait, I wait. mean, MB. <laughs> <laughs> um, now this isn't for download. People can't download this one. They can reference videos, mm -hmm. um, and I did play this previously, so we're just going to be playing it again, the that's same right, version. That's right. That they that people can base their vote off of. What are you doing on my little deck? Oh, you like it. I like this it. is a two-player game, so I'm getting in on the action. Good, let's do it. Da 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 da. Oh, not Super Mario Brothers. No, no, it's not, there's nothing super about it's this. OG Mario Brothers. Ba -da 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 -da. <laughs> it's not that one. Okay, set it over to two. And um, custom, no problem. We'll do our, we'll do arcade. We'll do the, the plain. Is. 
Oh, that's rough, Maybe man. Maybe novice. It's, you haven't played this. It's before. just rough that they like pro expert. Mamma Mama mia. mia. Okay. Top level. It's a huge jump between pro and novice. I'm gonna go with novice. Yes. Do it. Lives? What do you think? No, you can't set those. Only on custom. So many options. Okay, let's go. So that's how you play. Hit them from underneath. You can't do it from on top like all the other Mario games. This is this is the unique one where you will die if you try. What's that do? You? My joystick is uh, wait a minute misbehaving. Uh oh no no our guys we gotta kill them we must kill them. Oh, 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 they fell. No, no. Maybe it's the 7800 that's misbehaving. Uh-oh. They spawned us up top, the roughest place to spawn. Let's break out the ZPH controller. I'm, a, I'm kind of a pro with this. <laughs> no, I think my 7800 is finally no, given up no no i have two no. systems out of commission uh -oh. no i just got hit hard maybe because the atari box was busted atari box okay let's let's just start it again cool i'm gonna start it with the joystick plugged in that's a good idea i'm gonna have to send it off to ivory tower collections to fix ivory help me ivory help, us. help me ivory you're our only hope <laughs> yep give it a go does a fake uh, arcade boot up. Marcello Brothers. See, that's the thing. There's us. <laughs> really? Oh, damn. Okay. Marcello Brothers. So I'll just set it down. Two players and then novice. And let's do it. Do it. I don't think you can skip this. So I'll just skip this. Really? Not very long. Do it. Come on, work. Oh, good. It's not my 7800. It was the fact that uh, so you Wait. can only jump up one level. Oh, yeah, and you kind of got to be jumping. Get I almost feel Get like em. a bit of there a, like, go. less real-time response. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's almost like I need to, like, I kind of have to almost dictate what's going on, and my guy kind of moves a little bit after I move, right? Yes. Kind of. There's it's, very it's, interesting controls in this, but it is true to the arcade. So yeah. jump up there and get that guy while he's on his back. Oh, to it. There you go. Coins are fine to get. There's fireballs you want to avoid as well. Everybody's so quiet in the chat. You're just enjoying the... Oh, you hit the... Pa no, did it again! No! What's that do? <laughs> it flips everyone over. Oh, God. But okay. you hit it twice, so it flipped them back. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Okay, stop hitting... Oh, the power's gone. Good. No more... No more troublemaking from you. I was just, I'm learning the ways <laughs> of, the, of, the, of the Mario's. Right. Ooh, just missed it. You know what? As iconic as Mario is, I've certainly played a bit of it, but nowhere near where I think most people have. Like, oh, some people just love. I just, it's also because platformers is not my favorite genre. It's like, it's not like I dislike it, but I just, it's not like my go-to. So I think, yeah. And if you, and if, if you love platformers, I mean that. Which I love platformers. It's, it is like one of the, you know, it's, it's on the Mount Rushmore of, of platformers, oh, right? Oh, like, 100%. 100%. And I mean, if you don't like a game, you don't get a genre, you don't get better at the genre, so it, it gets harder to play that genre, and you just kind of. Um, yeah, since I love platformers, I get better at them. Ah, uh, no, no. Oh. Uh, we'll stop after this level. Oh, oh God. So. Yeah, these guys you have to hit twice. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> it is a disaster. Sorry. Oh, I punished myself for that. I knocked you off your platform. Get him. Finish him. Oh, no. Yeah, you got to watch the sides. There is wraparound. And when they go in the pipes at the bottom, they come back out at the top. I feel like we're like on ice. Do you know what I mean? Where it's almost like I move and I sort of slide a little bit, you know? Well, wait till the ice level. Oh, You'll really feel no, that there's ice. there's an ice level. <laughs> Have to dock it for graphics. The sprite looks nothing like Chris Pratt. 
that that is true that's the graphics don't look anything like chris pratt and you can't even really get a sense of chris pratt's voice in this you know game what they either? call that the pratt test <laughs> a lot of games yep. try but don't make the pratt test yeah there's it's a not an easy one to pass no it's not and, and you got to look for that seal of quality the pratt seal of quality that is it is the games. gold standard <laughs> of platformers yo oh did you see my dodging oh, skills look at this Oh, Expert dodging. What is how? What is this guy? No. He's the last guy, so he gets super mad. There we go. Game over. Time to register our names. Nope. For to be forever emblazoned in the history. Because I think like if you can if you can get past level one, you definitely deserve a high score to be recorded <laughs> forever, right? For sure. There's some really high level Mario Brothers gameplay that we just witnessed. Passing that tough level one. It's that's pretty it. rough. I mean, try to do it at home. So that one was by <laughs> Old Style um, uh, and Bobby Clark for the music sound effects. So we're doing Pentago. Which one should I hit, by the way? Uh, sorry. First one? Uh, well, not bup, definitely. Tall. Well, there's difference. There's tall and normal. Let's do normal. Yeah. Um, well, actually, tall would be more to the arcade. Let's just play tall. Cool. Because that'll be more arcadey. I'm in. And this is by uh, 20th Cent uh, Street Arcade, Daryl Genther, uh, Paul Lay, and uh, Pat Brady on the music and music oh, engine. Oh, this is some pretty cute icon right here. No, there's us. Whoa. So let's do two players, because we can. Okay. Uh, nope. Uh, two, two. I can't remember. Oh, yeah. Two players, two joysticks. And go difficulty is demo, because it's the demo version. Okay, so how do we get over to that? Uh, oh, you can't. Okay. Let's do it. Yep. Press button. Uh, and press a button. Oh, you don't, have, don't, don't how to know how to play this at all. Okay. Uh, all right, you can you... push those blocks, and you want to push them into the enemies. So push... Oh, okay. It's a very hard game. <laughs> okay. Okay, it's my turn, so I'll show you. Cool, I'll watch. I'll, I'll, the slippery I'll, surface is part of the official lore of the game. Sorry. You're in the sewers. That is true. So the flashing blocks means they could be coming from there. You know what's something I was thinking so about? So watch that. See? Oh, I see. So this guy's coming, and I push it. Or you can push against Oh, and it deletes too? Like it deletes the block? Oh. It can. Ah! No! Runaway evasion! Evasion. They can destroy need... blocks. You can destroy blocks as well if it's like yeah. kind of in your way. Yeah, we need an evasion though. And then that last guy will try and escape. Ooh, nice. But I'll squish him. Yeah, someone was thinking about the other day is there's so many levels that in like games that are set in sewers. But yes. if you were actually in the sewers, you'd be the most miserable. Ugh, and terrible. there's always like like a like a village or like a, a community in this in the sewer. And, like, always. The real but a ah. real like sewer man, I don't know how long you're hanging out in there. Yeah. Even in like and, they're and they always have these like these like chasms that are like the sewers just happen to be like you know, it's like this giant, it's like a, almost like a river that goes through it, and they're like, oh, you know. And there's a lot of extra stuff you can do in the game. Oh, my God. Whoa, that just became like Snake. Because that if they're the last one, they try and escape. Super and they power. go to the corners. Oh, shit. Okay, it's your turn. Okay. So hopefully I've shown. Smitty B says, I'm glad Popcorn made it in. It's not just the same game without that music. I 100% agree. It's Tanya's, one of Tanya's favorite, fun, like, Oh, two and one! Bonus points. Nice. Take that. One of Tanya's favorite ah, songs. Ah, 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 get out of my way. No, 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 no. <laughs> so they're all... Oh, you're an expert. <laughs> Three and one. You know what they call oh that? Oh, my God. Beginner's luck. Yes, that's what they call it. <laughs> nah, nah. You picked it up quick. You're a gamer. I'll figure something. Look, you even got the second to top bonus because you stored them so fast. Ah, ah, see, that's why I have beginner's luck. I didn't, didn't think about the fact. Demo that, over player. Didn't, I one. didn't realize they would spawn. <laughs> and they're pretty quick. Uh, AAA is taking the top place. Best of five player two. <laughs> is that me? That's that's rip. Nope. That's the whole. Yeah. Nope. And he's kicked. Let's just kick that one to the side. And if you can line up all three of those white blocks, you get a big bonus. Oh, nice. But it's difficult because you're being chased and everything's going on. Yes, this is a port of Pengo, Arcade's Pengo. Nice. And it is a magical port of it. Absolutely stunning. Just like the last game. Port of the Arcade uh, Mario Brothers. I think 
think I have one life left, and then we'll move on. We die this turn. Oh my god! Yeah, see, what I did the same then? thing. I just you because you forget they're spawning. Uh, uh, it's like uh, it's game over. Yeah. Okay. It's a support. Yes. Next game, uh, which we will plug in the Atari box for, as requested. Is Plum Luck DX by Blake Smith, Smitty Blake, B. Yo. And William Thorpe for the packaging and artwork. Plum Luck, let's do it. Yes. A little plum. So your objective is to make a pipe to get the water to its destination. Oh. Look at that big title screen. P for Plum Luck. I remember. Have you played this? Might have. We played never, it a number I, of I've times. I've never played this. But I, I remember there was an old iOS game that was somewhat oh, yeah. similar. I could be. So, yeah, pick that level. Press a button. Okay. okay. The, the piece that you're going to place is the top one. Um, which is... So that's your start and that's your end. Okay, so what? I, I got like one piece. Hold on. Let me... top, yeah, that's where you want to go. Can I only do one at a time? Yes. You can overwrite as well. Like you can just keep placing pieces over top of the top. So the water's going to start pretty soon. I would uh, oh, put that one right next to your opening pipe. Like right here? Yeah. Oh, I see. I'm and starting the, to understand. Okay, okay. Oh, straight piece. Perfect. And then next one. Perfect. Oh, just throw that one somewhere else. A straight one. Yep. Now you need a right turn. And the longer the pipe, the better, but Coming up, this one. There you go. But you don't really have much time. And I think the second button speeds it up because yeah, you're done. But the longer the oh, pipe I you see. make, the more points the you more make. Points you can score. But that was the first and level, and you're just trying to figure and it it's out. It's sort of RNG, I see. It's detect. It's detected because it's not playing the TI. I don't. I don't know why. I plugged it in before turning on the system, and you did hear it. Not hearing it. We were. I haven't changed the volumes, and we were hearing it before, and and we heard it say Atari Vox Plus. Not sure what's going on. Perfect. And that's a, a through, so it'll go. Yeah, you can put it right at the end of your pipe there. Like here? Uh, or, or here? Both. Yeah. Either one's good. And another one. Yeah. I'm not sure what's going on. Weird. Flip the second difficulty switch. There we go. It is flipped. Do we need to restart for that to take effect? Oh, okay, we're good. Got some points. Whoa! This Ooh, that's is, uh... a long one. piece you want. <laughs> That's working for a TIA now. Should I flip it back again? Maybe it'll kick it into gear. Okay, I flipped it back. sounds when you place tiles. Hmm. No, we definitely don't hear anything out of the... We're going to restart it after this level. Uh-oh. Am I fucked? <laughs> uh, no, no, you're still good. You can still go straight down from there. You, yep, oh, not no, there. Wrong spot. Oh, well. You can make a loop around. <laughs> oh, it's so stressful. <laughs> Oh, yeah, there so you go. So stressful. Uh, oh, oh no, you got to join, so, join something up there. Because it's going straight. Oh, now you're screwed. You've, you've made a dead end. Oh, you can change it. 
you gotta change you gotta change that piece to something else because it's gonna hit a gonna... dead end. Uh now you gotta change that piece because it's gonna hit a dead end. Uh oh no. Oh you're gonna be dead in two seconds here. Oh there you go. Change it. No, no. I'm, no. I'm, uh, no mistakes it. were made! Oh no. Okay, okay. Okay, we're gonna restart it just so we can show the Atari full. Ready. So the Atari Vox is on. It's outputting. Let's start the game again. Start it again. Blake Smith, yo, dude. That's Blake Smith right there in the chat. Okay, start it up. Start it up. He says we should hear the placing of the tiles through the Atari box. Okay. Which one does it start from again? Uh, the right hand. So that's kind of the drain. on B. They should be on B, right? Smitty B? B. I'm going to both switch them both to A to restart the game. You can hear the main place, but it's no. not through the Atari box. I'm not sure what's going on. That is very, very, very weird. Um, blame my system. Blame my system. Because obviously if it works on your system, then there's something, something weird going on here. <laughs> this is scoffed. <laughs> You're going the wrong way, man. This is scoffed. Turn, turn the ship it's, around. It's... <laughs> It's You're getting there. You're getting there. Ruined. Another one. Another one. Just need to join it up with that kind of oh, pipe thing. Oh. oh, yeah. Yeah, straight. No. no. <laughs> I'm getting so scared. Okay, I needed the oh, first Oh, you didn't bit. even start. Oh. <laughs> I screwed it up. Okay. It's so, okay, okay. Let's, okay. But I'll, I'll let you do this level. Let's do one more. Because all you do is a, just a short, quick turn around. You can... There you go. There, turn it. Get it down. Yep. Middle. Perfect. Now nah, you're rocking. Uh, Smitty, I can, I can. Well, I, I don't know what more testing I can do, but I can, I can help test after to see what's going on since it's not working with my system. Um. <gasps> I love it. Okay. So it did do something. I don't know what that was, what it said, but it did uh, trigger the Atari box there. Okay, let's see if it placing a tile makes a noise now. What is going on with this level? Wow. Oh my god, this is... Because it's a Pac-Man ghost in the middle. This is far more advanced. Okay. Okay. Place a tile? Oh. It's just not doing the tile placement. No worries. Okay. Time to move on. Oh, wow, what a, what a cool game. Left. Yeah. It kind of worked. It kind of worked. <laughs> yeah, my sentiments. Okay, so we're doing the best 7800 work in progress original. So let's pop out of this. And we're doing Drone Patrol. I have to be confused, confused with Paw Patrol. Not Paw Patrol. Not Drone. at all. This is wholly original. Kids love that show. I don't understand it. It's dogs, they're cute. So let's, let's go for a low, well, standard skill. Go for stand. Let's do it. Start it. Start it Let's up. Let's do it. Let's hit it. Get ready for Blade Runner. Okay, you got a sh holy fuck. No, what is happening? Don't <laughs> shoot the dudes. <laughs> What's going on? What do I gotta do? I gotta uh, don't shoot the dudes. Uh, shoot the uh, tanks. Um, oh, avoid actually, the missiles. Avoid the missiles. Avoid that laser into the sky. Um, don't shoot the. Uh oh. Oh, I see. Don't I shoot see the rescue trucks. I think you do shoot the guys. If I remember correctly. Okay. Don't Which shoot... one's the rescue trucks? With the crosses. Don't shoot those. Oh. So otherwise, you'll be hung for war crimes. Oh, God. Oh, and you got to go back up to the top when that guy comes. Oh, to okay. Refuel. Cool. Okay. Just fire to restart. Sorry, guys. Let's do this. Oh, uh -oh no. No. <laughs> I'll trigger happy. No. Return no. to his title I'm screen. I'm going to just submit. Oh. 
took it. I guess zero, zero, zero is the first level. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot going on. You gotta watch the top and the bottom. Okay, I think I like, at least I understand like what is happening <laughs> before I was like, wait a minute. Wait a second, I gotta figure it out. I gotta figure it out. No, okay. Uh, that oh. was so close to war crimes. <laughs> yep. It withstand it withstood your, your fire. That's so you're okay. <laughs> That's like a documentary. So close to war crimes. <laughs> it was that close to war crimes. It has a good title in there somewhere. <laughs> so I was gonna pick a like a reference, but I was like, I don't know if I should. War crimes adjacent. I don't know if I should name someone's autobiography. Like, Maybe let's just not. not get specific. Let's get not not get political here. Many other places for that. The, the most political we get. <laughs> it's about movies. It's about I movies. <laughs> it's a, it's a, that's those are all our well, hot takes involve media. My uh, 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 next movie marathon's coming up. That's right, <clears throat> Mr. Scorsese. The the uh, Scorsese. The, that's how we pronounce it. I learned that. Um, oh, oh, I, need, I need, give me, give, give me the lasers. There you go. You're full. Oh, 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 I was getting scared. Um, it is an 11 day marathon. That's right. Out of control. I, I, James will be there for all 11 days. I probably <laughs> I will. won't. But I will be there for some of the days. Yes. No uh, his early stuff. You probably haven't seen his first like early, early black and white rough stuff so that's, he, that's day his, one i've seen his oh, first watch out whoa whoa that was I, close I forgot. i've seen his first feature oh, okay yeah um, but I, and i think yep. i've seen some of his short films okay uh, i did a little case study of him in in when i was in film school <clears throat> that makes sense just yeah. like kind of like <clears throat> i should say more just like personal case study like i just right. watched oh, a lot of his films so what what kind of era that you haven't seen the most in? I would actually say it's really pick and choose. I think I've okay. seen like things. If we were to go through his, I bet you I've kind of jumped around. Okay. So it's not one particular where you dipped out. Okay. We're no. On to the next one. There you you got through a boss. Um. Next one technically is ducks away, but we had to do that earlier. Next one's I ran by VHZ C Games Vladimir Zuniga. Oh. This is an endless... Oh, you were there. Down, 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 down there. Nope, I ran. Oh. I ran, okay. <clears throat> As in running. And I ran. <laughs> Every time. Every time. I thought. I personally thought it was, for a second there, the uh, country. Ah, no. It oh. is not, not yeah, Persia. I heard it said out loud. Um, first <laughs> demo, just jump in. Jump in. It's an endless runner. You got to duck. You got to jump. An endless runner? Oh. Yep. Duck, okay, jump. Duck and jump. I think that's all you have. So it's all about timing. See, there's some time in there. I'm fucked. <laughs> yeah, oh, that dude. one was a duck. Oh, dude. I was... <laughs> Sometimes you duck. Okay. Duck, duck, goose. Ooh, little oh. early. Little early. Little they early. call that <laughs> Mis a miscalculation. <laughs> that's right. Very cute characters. Oh, oh, still too early. Give it another go. Oh, too late. Oh, it's tough. It's tough. Okay. I want to go after you. Yeah, you're going to... It's one of those games where it's it's pretty quick to... Well, yeah, and I, I can just... I, oh, okay. Let me at least get past the first. <laughs> I, need to, I need to redeem myself. True. True. You know it's a VH said C game. You cannot get past the second. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. So get jump it. approximately the exact distance from the space okay. in between. So there, there you go. Oh, that was still close. So I got, I got a duck, <laughs> duck now. Duck, you didn't do it. Oh, I pushed oh. the other button thinking you would duck. Okay, okay. One, 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 two, one, two one, lives one, one, one last, one last go. One last go. Let's do it. One last. After a great year. cityscape, two colors. Oh. Okay, just pull down and right just, now. Just dock the whole just dock situation. The whole situation. <gasps> That's magic. You did it. You did it. What the? F no. Oh. Okay. There are checkpoints. Okay. You didn't make it. Okay. 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 I made it. I made it through two. It's not an easy game. I'll tell you that. Three events. What are you doing to us? <laughs> okay. You just hold down. And... Yep. And this it, this one's tricky because it's like oh do I do I see duck? now I know to, to to jump over the explosion but everything's everything's a little different so it's part you got to get your time memorization of what things are and that's the checkpoint 
Whoa! Oh, yeah, it. he accelerates. Except I had no lives left. Yeah, uh, it gets it gets so tricky. So tricky. Brutality. Then there's, uh, I think in the full version, or maybe this version has a random one, where you, you get to encounter all the obstacles, but in a random order. Oh, yeah. That's called pain mode. Yeah. But it gives you good practice pain at, at um, spontaneity of trying to figure it out. Oof. Oof. There's also one where he, the, I think it's a pig that comes back. That one's a duck. That one's a duck. That one's a jump. Damn it! Can I get that timing? Damn, what a tough game. It is. I think I'm at I like the this. I love the art checkpoint. and design of this character. There's always a beautiful side of um, Beach and Seas games is his just design of all these little details. Like even yep. and the black outline of everything just the, too. just the, even just like the rotation of well, like the life jewels, the right? Like these. Oh yeah. These little kind of like, uh, you know, the spikes, and then like yep. I love the flame sort of rotates. Like you see, it comes down the oh, fire bubble. Once the fire's there, it's almost rotating. Yep, he's always these extra touches. Like when those guys start moving, they they look. Yeah, different. like see the flickering fire. It was not rotating. Sorry, it's flickering. Yeah, oh, I got to do better in this one. Oh, I didn't jump close enough. Last life, don't be tempted by the glittering gems. Do not get entranced Do by not them. be tempted. Do not become <laughs> addicted to water. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's the most outrageous thing anything anybody said so in a good. movie. It's like, what? Man, I... We I, need water. <laughs> man, I want so bad for that TV show to be good. I'm, I'm, I'm Is it really... Is a TV show? I thought it was an ex another movie. No, it's a, like a miniseries. It's like uh, eight episodes. I've avoided anything about it. That's why I don't know anything. Um, oh, wow. It's a miniseries. Yeah, I want it to be really good. And, oh my God, I hope it is. Um, but I, I don't know if it's going to be... <laughs> I haven't just... watched anything about it. That's good. That's good. So you can just take it in. But I'm 100% yeah. watching it. There's no question. Okay, good. I oh, love, I will too. I love that guy's... Uh, oh, 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 got it. I don't just love his work. I think he's one of the best directors ever. But oh what's weird God, is yes. that like his he, his misses are bizarre. Like, <laughs> Happy Feet, you're like, what I've never is seen, this? I've never seen it's, some of his weird stuff. Some so. day, someday you gotta, you gotta watch... Uh, oh, the God, uh, right. the ending of Happy Feet is the craziest <laughs> ending to any movie I've ever seen. It's really? one of my favorite endings to a movie <laughs> because it's so outrageous <laughs> that they like build towards this moment. What a pick! Whoa, Whoa! that is cool, man. Oof. Some things you have to like hit, and if you yeah. miss that one, you're dead. Like this is a crazy, crazy game. Yeah. Like, you have to hit one thing to miss the next thing. And like one of my, in a way, it's one of my favorite films because I've never seen it <laughs> go like this. But Beyond Thunderdome, really? I've never experienced oh. a movie which like starts so good and then transforms into Halfway like this. Like through. you're like, how do how do you go from this to this? It's just like you literally see the movie like just Crash like and, burn. and then like and then the end. Yeah, it's just. But in a way, it's kind of amazing because I've never seen a film which starts so strong. <laughs> the first third of that movie is like one of the best movies ever. Ever. And then, yeah. like, the six, second two thirds good. are like, what is happening? Oh, the kids, no. But even then, like... It turns that, into a PG kids but adventure just, silliness. But dude, the insanity of just being like, <laughs> yeah, they do a... They ride a, a train, and there's, the track is still there, and you're like, dude, in the future, wouldn't you immediately dismantle metal? Yeah. To, like, oh, <laughs> like, yeah. like, how is this train track still here? <laughs> like, the plane? Like, oh, it's so <laughs> crazy. But in a way, I kind of love that it it's like it's almost like i've never seen anything like that i've just never seen a movie just fall apart <laughs> like literally go off the rails oh, yeah. by being on the rails <laughs> it's almost like another uh, well we'll stop there another director took over yeah almost. it really is or, feel... or like huge notes from the studio or another editor took over yeah like i, I don't know how you kind of like how that oh, happens you know? yum, yum. i don't know i don't know i'd love to read about why why it went the way it went. I've just never I've never seen a choice like that before. It's so Let's get crazy. ready, cats. Come on, Atari, come inside. Don't be tempted by the glittering gems. <laughs> the glittering Who gems. Who triggered that? Gamma Dev. Thank you, Gamma Will. Dev. Just by the pep in his step, I already feel like Sprite is He's on geared. it. You yeah. know, Sp Atari just sort of He's... wandered over. He did a little like a little oh. stretch. Uh, He's like, Oh, I don't know about this guys. Uh, I guess you woke me up. Uh, 
It's okay. Let's do this. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Sorry, looks so sleepy versus Sprite is fucking ready to go. So it might be how much Sprite wins by. I don't know. Might be that. See if anybody votes on uh, Atari. Or this could might be a sleeper. This, this could be the day. This could be the day. It, could it has be. never happened before, but it but that just it's the gambler's fallacy. Just because it happened before doesn't mean it will happen in the nope. future. Everyone is separate. Well, kind of, because they can get full of treats. Okay, the bets are started. However, Everybody's putting in. Will it be? If oh oh, they're 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 talking. They're summoning the, each the, other up. The past is the best prediction of the future, <laughs> as well. Right? Well, yes. So we know Sprite is the odds are Sprite's going to win, but by how much? And maybe Atari will pull it out. Maybe, I don't this know. This could be the day. But like looking at the sleepy cat versus this like <laughs> yeah the young hungry lion like whoa. And in, and in horse races, they let you go look at the horses beforehand. So this is oh sorry, I got to switch over. Um, so you gotta look at these horses here. Check them out. These one is cats. like riled and ready to go. Oh, he's pacing is... back and forth. He oh now he's conserving his energy. Atari's like hey. Atari's <laughs> trying to to sway the judges here. Or not even judges. They just they do their thing. Hey man. Oh, all the bets are covered. Okay, that's what I like to see. So somebody's gonna win. We got a full spread. Yep. But one day I want I want to see what happens. I think the money just goes poof. Just if gone. nobody bets on one and it hits that goes one. back to the house yeah and i mean the house has infinite so it's not really like a gambling thing <laughs> i guess casinos almost have infinite money too borderline yeah because they can just keep giving it out except when somebody wins big too much they start investigating you know what's bit. interesting is there's been like some controversies around some like online betting where people were like trying to get their money back and they're like can't <laughs> it's not how it works guys <laughs> not how it works oh look at that no but it's in like they're trying ding, to ding. redeem the money they actually earned oh. and because most people will accrue these these digital currencies adding, adding. and keep going but like when they actually have to check out they realize how difficult it can be for some of these online so it's almost places. like ponzi-ish it's like we don't actually have the money right now we can give you some of the money but other people need to pay us See, first Here's an interesting thing he just did. He's a smart cookie. He's like, fuck these bells. I'm just going to get the whole carton and run away with That's it. That's right. Okay, we're ready. The bets are over. Closed. Okay. You ready, cats? So put it down to the sides. Not too far. Okay, ready? Let's do it. And Sprite is off. See? Oh, that's no good. You and a stolen Valor. Oh, did he? Oh, did he get... Two there. No, Atari stole um, sprites. Yeah, but it's whoever rings it. Yeah, so, okay, so there we go. So that's just another sprite. Yep, so it's 3 1 for sprite. That's right. Because if he steals it, he gets to do it again right away. Oh, that's Atari. Oh, Atari, good. Sprite. Sprite, wow, this is quick. Is that another ding? No, no, no. It's an unintended ding. Wow, these cats are. You know what is up? This, this is point. going on. <laughs> whoa whoa what is atari get in the game there you whoa, go Whoa, that was a nice i like that oh. bell that was like a spread oh he double tapped <laughs> does, does that count no it's just he has to eat oh my god these yes. cats know what the fuck is going on at this point <laughs> wow the confidence whoa. of these bell it rings is game point already right dude this is destruct outer destruction <laughs> dude. 10 4 i just have to say when i'm that's here that's the fastest game ever fastest ever oh my god where'd the oh i think i took it oh that's right here oh okay and this should i I'll, I'll let you cast to the okay here's your oh that's too many <laughs> uh oh uh oh uh oh okay go wash your hands stinky yeah terrible terrible greasy yeah we'll do. and tanya's been wiping on the couch and it's terrible and i was wondering why um sprite was licking the couch recently and it's because Tanya's been wiping her hands on the couch. That makes sense. <laughs> it does, makes a lot of sense. Greenies. Sprite one by six whiskers. Holy oh cow. my god! Sprite got the boost. Dude, after uh, the you could just see face. he was just like ready to go, and meanwhile Atari was kind of like. Oh, big winner, Carl G. Carl. 
And two other people. I would have. I actually. If, if I was lurking, I would have bet on Sprite for three. For three. Me too. I uh, think I would have done that. That as would have well. been my bad. Because he was. He was ready. You could just the tell. Was not. Didn't even come running. When it, it helps that we're here to be able to see it. I think. Smitty B's run. ruined. No, Smitty. Um, You're not ruined. You, you'll accumulate it back, Smitty. You'll make it back. You what know, did you just, bet, Smitty? What was your? What was your? Like your percentage based on like how many? How many? Like, did you bet all of your money? Like all of it? Got most of my treat money back. Okay, but they accumulate just by sitting in here, by making comments, by watching number of uh, shows in a row, and if you make if you make small bets and build back up on like some safe sprite one to twos. <laughs> twenty six hundred. You ran too Oh, uh, so you're pretty low then. Yeah. So you might have bet most of your stuff. Well, hopefully you can gain it back. Okay. Smitty, I believe in you. You will make it back. You can do it. You can make it. Okay. Let's get back in the game. Let's get in there. Atari. Plus. Okay. Ready. Next one is uh, Night Guy in Another Castle by VHZC. Whoa. He's competing against himself. Vladimir Zuniga. Which could, which is an advantage, but it could also be a disadvantage, right? Um, It can be, because it might split the vote. That's exactly right. Yeah. But, I mean, it's not... This is fundamentally different games. This isn't oh, oh completely just different run game. away. <laughs> nope, I'm out of here. Let's stay in the safety of the first level. Because if everybody, let's see, if half, let's see, if a lot of people split their votes between both of your games, and then another person votes. Like most people oh. could bet for VHZC. Yeah, should've, I have to go back. Should have seen that coming, Aaron. It's a trick, yeah. I got you baited. Meryl Streep himself. Oh. You guys can make it out. It's open a crack now. <laughs> you can do it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I'm just gonna go through here. And you can, but you'll hit a dead end. Uh -oh. You gotta go. You gotta go get something. You gotta go get a oh, sword. Oh, I didn't away. realize there was danger there. No, of it's course spiky. there was. It's, it's always spiky. danger. It's got the misfits. Um, Skull in the in oh. the in the bottom there. That's cool. Yeah. Okay, now I know. Oh, it's already fallen, so you'll be able to see the big open gap there. You still got some lives. Ooh, a chest. A chest. Ooh, I think it's a sword. Yeah. Yo. Now you can kill a, a number of characters. How do I, I do I just run with it? And, yeah, and you just run with it. He's he's he plays it safe and he holds it out. Let's do this. Finish him. You can kill the bats. No need to, but you can. Oh, that's why it's dangerous. No, I didn't. <laughs> I thought I was so good until I wasn't. That's oh. how it goes. Okay, so now I can Yeah. Take that. Take that, snake. snake. This is a top jump. There you go. Um, they're spinning blades. I just at the top. realized. I realized <laughs> mid, mid, like go. Whoa. Okay. At the extremes, these aren't tough. It's the middle part. Running through this part is a little tougher because you get less time. In the middle. Stab. <laughs> Oh, everything, yeah. <laughs> everything is going to kill me. Everything's deadly in this game. Absolutely deadly. Does this kill me too? Uh, at the top, yeah. Oh, the wall? No, it's fine. Okay, it's I just, fine. I, uh, you I, never can't, I cannot assume anything. No, you can't. There's no assuming. It could be like a tiny, cute little frog and it just could devastate you. Oh, oh, the snake's back. I made a mistake. I just got, I just panicked. I panicked. <laughs> I panicked. Yep. I panicked. Don't blame you. Okay, jump over it. Okay. Yep. Jump this over it. Okay. Nice. Gotta get this timing right. This one's pretty tight, this one, actually. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not too bad. I just gotta jump over the fire and avoid oh, the fireballs. Last no. life. This might be. Oh. Um, let me give it a quick not, run I'm, past just, yeah, that. Yeah, just. Obviously, great graphics. The shading on all the characters are beautiful. Animation, sound. I mean, every game in, in all these categories, all the categories are just, that was dumb. Oh, that's <laughs> I have to go get, retrieve the sword. Yeah, and then 
the, it's also, it's, I'm happy with the new, um, in a way I'm happy that they're like, they, in, with the new, um, Mad Max, they're not, they're not bringing back Charlize, although I think Charlize mm. is sort of like, it's a prequel, right? On, it's all I know about it. Charlize is almost like, you know, uh, like she is Furioso, right? Like it's just like, That's it's right. so like, but I think in a way it's nice to let the feature just be the feature and then this be something else, you like know? Like completely different, different actors. Which is... Also, the spirit of like that whole series, like even even he said he's just like yeah, I don't care. Like every everyone they begin with the same car that gets completely totaled. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like it's like yes. it's like fuck it, who cares? Yeah. These are all kind of like multiverse stories in a way where they it's are, just, and that's and I think that's kind of the beauty of the series. But I also understand that like people like continuations and seeing the same characters over and over again. Um, but you know, if the next person can pull it off and embody that character, let, absolutely no problem. Yeah, and let it be its own new thing. Like I'm, yeah. I'm fine with new stuff. Yep. Oh, the other one that I don't know it doesn't really, it doesn't strike me as looking that good. Is this new Joker coming out? What? Okay. Is it a continuation of yeah, the joke? Yeah, yeah. Joaquin's back, and, but the, but why? do you know who? That's why. But do you know they have they have Harley Quinn in it? Do you know who's been cast as Harley Quinn? A new Harley Quinn. Have you do you, have you not heard about this? No. Lady Gaga. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Which totally works. Oh my God. Um, but but yeah, I'm I'm excited to watch it. But I'm like, it's another one. It's kind of in the that like it's the same as like. What are the odds of this being like? actually really good like, yeah I don't, not I was, super high but i was really ho hoping that um joker just was its own thing and that's yeah. it it was it was a one-off movie barely has anything to do with the dc universe there's more of a weird like psychological study of an anti-social guy right like it just yes. it is just it kind of is this sort of like it's not really superhero movie it's it's superhero adjacent kind of thing <sighs> Yeah. He's he's brave. Brave Sir Knight. Sir Knight. Stop that. This one you have to kind of watch for how long the character's spinning for because you need to know when to jump it and when to kind of leave it alone. Like you know that. what's Oh well, we gave it a gave it a good go. Perfect. Like Bates Motel is a completely separate of Psycho. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, some some things you know are fine to start again almost. Ready. Next one is Orion Assault by Eight Bit Rocket. Orion. Let's do it. Which one? A seven eight. Yeah. Cool. So I think this is a straight shooter. Commander Orion. Commander Orion entering. Your Lieutenant Fulton. So Valkyries are riding. Oh. Do, 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 do. Nice graphics. 54 warps to Orion. I've never finished this game. It's a lot of warps. Uh-oh. Kind of an homage to, um... Oh, no. Crazy? Thinking oh, of... Oh, I'm already dead. <laughs> Is that it? I'm done, though. No. Is it's like, um... Gyrus! That's it. Why is it. It's one of my favorite games. I don't know why I couldn't think of it. Gyrus, because it says three warps to Earth and three warps to Saturn. And that also had awesome, awesome music. Great. Oh, I can just hold down the button. Oh, there you go. That makes things a bit easier. Sometimes that's detriment detrimental in some games because you like it's good to you do need, timing. You need, you need some precision, yeah. But sometimes the rate of fire is fast enough that it doesn't matter. But you have to pick and choose. But I like when games give the option of auto fire. Because having to press the button over and over again is brutal. Oh. Like, um, can you move up and down? I can. No, left and right. So like you do, that is a thing where you can really like, if you don't clear the battlefield properly, yeah. you can hit a point where you're just- You're just... trapped. Uh, Ooh, I didn't- Tiny bullets. Yeah, I didn't pay attention. I was looking at the, I was trying to evade the big pieces. I forgot also, about there's the very bright lights in her eyes. I forgot about the <laughs> shrapnel. No, it's all good. I actually wasn't just paying. I forgot about those little oh, bullets. I just yeah. was like, it's one of those things where your your attention needs to be mm. on multiple things. Is that good? I think that's good. Uh, I, I think I, that's good. I, I was scared. It makes sense, though. It's blue. That's nice. Yeah. That's a nice th way to identify it. Doing uh, color themes in games is very helpful. But then that's oh, blue, and it. that's... Uh... I might need to take over. <laughs> 
get us platformers and shooters are my jam. This is perfect. And RPGs, uh, puzzles. puzzles, strategy. Yeah, <clears throat> that's kind of your jam. Also, F first-person shooters, which we don't really True. play in this doesn't, context, but I I, I play. Doesn't a lot. lend itself well to this era, but they do they do come up. Um, like more on the 8-bit and Lynx and Jaguar side of things. I also think it wasn't really until the first Xbox and PlayStation 2 that sh shooters really got good and on a yes. console level, like they really figured themselves out. And even then there's been lots of development. Like I think P also FPSs have always sort of been a bit more of a, a, like a computer thing. You they know? really like, have. Especially those early like Counter-Strike days, like that yeah. was really like... FPSs were dominated by computer games. It's just also your what you can do with a mouse versus uh... That's probably why, because the input scheme on the computer uh, was much... Oh my god, I think you got to make a path or something. I haven't played this game in a long time. Make a pretty good path for yourself. Now you can just do some cleanup. Oh no, it goes back up. Good. Whew. See, this is... Look at the Valkyries. Like, look at edition. this, man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, 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 catch the edge. Moving in out, duck and cover. Duck okay, and move, okay, duck and 48. move. 48, holy shit. Okay, <laughs> Long is, way to go. This is... At least I know where I'm at, though. That's the thing about this game. Some games, you're just like... Just you're playing it, and then you're like, oh, I beat it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or you're like, does this go on for... <gasps> oh, triple power, I missed it. No. But playing defensively is a much better strategy. Yeah, I need my evasion to be there. Um, I also find, in general, I tend to not... I think you're... I think one thing that's a bit different between us as gamers is I'll find a game and just play the shit out of that one game <laughs> yes. for a long time. So games that have lots of depth, I really enjoy. True, that's um, true. But, and I think you, a bit more of a variety player, you you like to kind of try. And Jumping it, back and forth. It kind of, it kind of made, the show made me do that yeah. in a way because I have to get through so many games because the community... The, the, the developers just make so many amazing games. And also just this... Their last, last level. Yeah, and also this era of gaming, too. Like, because there wasn't as much ability to kind of, like... Um, Do games with depth. Yeah, or, or games have tons of depth, but it's almost like they're, they're simpler. They tend to be more like you're, like... You can Cash bounce in. between a bunch of, of different ones. Like, it's hard to make, like, a, you know, like a giant, oh, deep... That. <laughs> like a super deep like RPG that goes on for like, ten, like thousands of hours. It's just not really. It's hard to program that into like. Yeah, the seventy eight hundred was okay. kind of the era Already. when that kind of started for consoles with the NES and like Zelda. Mm -hmm. The seventy eight hundred ran parallel to the NES, but kind of came out later. Wilf, let's do it. Yep, Wilf, it is. Oh, is that the right one? Uh, we're not on the concerto. I would go the, for the other one. one. Cool. Yeah, because I think the other one. St should I just start? Let's do it. Yeah, because we played this on the show. So you're a little wormy. Hey. There's a little story to this, so. Look at my guy. He has where, to break where? out. Oh, you're in the cage, so you got to break out of the cage. Do some new ninjutsu. Use where's, your... Where's my... Press the other button. There you go. Gotta break out. Oh. There you go. What do I do? Can I jump? No, I just... no, you don't have any abilities yet. You just, you're you're just, just have little, the crawl ability. I'm just a little guy. I'm just a little worm. Pseudographic says, I never play an FPS game with a gamepad. They just don't... They don't... I don't mind it with a dual stick. Yeah, like the like the, the that's the thing is that the PlayStation Two and Xbox controller yeah. are awesome for that. They're designed for it, but uh, even like the N sixty four is pretty rough. So now you've gained the ability of gravity bending, so you can go to the top and bottom. So now you can go a little bit further. Gravity bending. Yo! There you go. Okay, so now some different stuff. The worm has some what? What? Strats am there. I crazy to think that this is something? I can know. No, it's not. I was like, th there's could the... be a Mario pipe. We're trained. Our brains have trained. So, uh, does this guy just like... Whee! Yep. Whoa, buddy. Oh, the key. What's this? Can I go down? <sighs> Got the key now. I just collected some keys. And I think you can do it mid. Like, you can switch. Evasion. Now it's evasion time. No! no! Oh. That is the exact wrong time. Oh, I thought that I had oh. to get in front of him. That was No, my there's call. a little gap there that I gives you a bit of... Uh, I see my mistake. I think you kept your um, gravity. My, my gravity abilities, though. That's good news. Yeah. Weirdly, modern FPS games dropped all the stuff that made them playable on consoles. So they made them worse on consoles so that they're really geared towards PCs. 
don't know if I necessarily agree with that. I think that they're, they're two different worlds, but early, early stuff for sure. Oh, yeah. Like, I'd say, like, even, I'd honestly say Xbox 360 was really the first console that was, like, a pleasure to play. If, if Didn't the 360 on. have a, uh, a D-pad and a... A two, it had two, um, it always, they've always, two? they've always had a D-pad to, to kind of navigate things on. But the, not right two north. analog sticks. Yeah, two analog sticks Did for it? sure, yeah. And, and then, uh, and then two, it had a two bumpers and two, uh, two yes. bumpers and two triggers plus yeah. these two. It did have a D-pad as well that you could, mm. but it was kind of down to the. Um... graphics says, I've never been a console gamer. My first console was a 2600, which I got about two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Nice. That's funny. I would say my history is a bit mixed between the two. Yeah, same. Because I was on a PC for a long, long time. Um, obviously, way back in the 70s and 80s, yes, early 80s, um, it was consoles, like 7800, NES, uh, not 7800, 2600, NES. But then as soon as, um, and, and C64. Oh, oh, I died, that makes sense. I can't go through that, it's yeah. noxious. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm learning. Yeah, I think that like one thing that um, I something I do feel as I'm getting older is I do want to play more console games yeah. just because the posture of you know what I mean. Right. It's really actually hard on your your neck and back versus with a controller you can um, you can sit up properly in a couch. You could do you could mix it up. We Tanya and I play sometimes or actually a lot of times with a controller on a PC. Yeah, that's the thing. And so I, you get I, the power of a PC with 4K and awesome graphics card, but you get the comfort of a controller. Yeah, there's just some games that are really meant for mouse and keyboard, and, though. And we don't play FPS. Well, we do, but I'd not say, like like competitive. Yeah, I play tons of action RPGs, and those are like... Oh, you need mouse. Yeah, you need to highlight groups. That's a nightmare. New stuff. Yeah, so... <gasps> Watch out. Oh, oh, I miscalculated. <laughs> yeah, you get one more try. Make it to that door. Then we can switch it. over. Okay. Except for the Wii, but that's a weird thing where they sold you on half controllers. Or you mean the Switch. Switch is half controllers. I think the Wii is as well. The Wii's got like... Well, you can't combine two controllers on the Wii. They're, they're their own thing. But they had Pro Controllers too. For both Switch and Wii. We have the Pro Controllers for them. Yeah, but it's like, I just think um, as I'm getting older, I'm like, Sitting in front of a computer, yeah. kind of hunched over for so long. It's a lot. It's just hard on your neck and back and that kind of stuff, which is, I do feel old saying that, but it is real. I do feel, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's just. Time has passed. Time has become. <laughs> the beards are getting gray, not your. Oh! Uh, okay, well, I'm gonna pass over. I'll pass it. Uh, yeah, I wanna make it through the door, at least. <laughs> Beautiful music, uh, amazing graphics, obviously. Muddy Funster has. Outdo outdoes himself every single game. Up. So I'm sure they'll be at, he'll be adding in other con other abilities as time goes on. Also, something that I haven't really talked about on the show that much, mm. but like something that really exploded when a, like when I was growing up was I was that that generation that like Pokemon hit. Oh, you know what I mean? See, and like. I don't... Just, yeah, I missed that whole and, thing. I was in elementary school when Red, Green, and Blue came out. I don't even um, understand that. Like, explain to me and some of the other people, like, what is all the colors? Oh, so, like, it was just, it was literally just expansions. Do oh, you know what I mean? Like, it was just, it was purely, like, economic, where they, like, Red, Green, and Blue, they're, like, 150 Pokemon. You can start as, like, one of, basically, three different ones. Okay. And, and then the idea, and then they added them, because they're, like, now there's, like, like now there's gold and silver. And so are the game, is the gameplay different between them or is it just like, yeah, you get new Pokemon? Well, then they kept adding the Pokemon, right? Cause you gotta catch them all. Um, <laughs> cash, but, cash them all? But once you've- For them, But right? the thing is, is once you've <laughs> caught 150, it's like, you know. That's a lot. Then they, oh, 250. Like I have no clue how many Pokemon <laughs> there are now. There's probably a thousand. Oh yeah, they've had so you gotta many. You gotta catch them all. 
Um, yeah. and, and the cards came out at the same time that right. I was, that all that was going on. And so, but that was uh, the, the RPG element of it. Because it was basically a, like a JRPG um, pause and play ah, no. is basically what it is. Like, okay. if, you, if you look at Final Fantasy, it's really a clone of that, but with some oh, different, okay. like the same gameplay, right? You select your characters, you pick their attacks, they do right. something, then... You face off against X number. It's not a one-on-one. -on -one. Sometimes there's more. Um, well, you have a, like a number in the same way that in like in Final Fantasy, you'd have like, um, you know, like three characters. In in this case, you would have Pokemon. So you have your loadout of like five Pokemon that you can oh, play. Okay. And then you kind of like, they're all at different levels and you have to level them up and you kind of like duel someone. So each of you has five. So if you're one guy okay. can kill all five, you're like, you're, you're Giga Chad. <laughs> <laughs> but if you can't then you can get screwed up so but it but they're key. they're very grindy right and um yeah. you just kind of like level up your characters do you level up your things do all that but i played a ton of that world which i think was pretty informative for me like, growing up and started my love of rpgs but it's not really um but i and the cards i never played the game but it'd be, it was like this crazy phase of collecting is the wrong way. Yeah, okay, you've got you've got to do the top, yeah. but the way you do it is on that orange platform. You can then just oh, pop up. Oh yes, that's right. Can I? Yeah, I'm safe. I was already safe from that yeah, guy. Yeah. And okay. then you just gotta like avoid this dude. Let him come in. Yeah, they, he's saying like pretty crazy how exploded in popularity given the Game Boy was a good console by that point. Well, they had the thing yeah. was is that Game Boy was pretty rough, and then Game yeah. Boy um, Color was what I first got, and then when Game Boy Advance came out, it changed yeah, the game. Okay, yeah. What what? And this is funny. I think people might understand this, but the issue that happened and the reason why the Game Boy Advance completely changed the game was they finally had a backlit screen. Oh, you huge. used to have to plug in a little light to like actually see Which made what it was worse going on. and better at the same time because now you have the reflections. Okay, we're on to the ports. Work in progress. Ports now. First one is Blockum Sockum by 20th Street Arcade. Daryl Ganther for the code and TIA music. And uh, John Hancock, uh, kind of the producer of the thing, kind of came up with the idea. Uh, there he is. Yo, There's John. John Hancock, friend of the show. Uh, Sergio... The real question is, what's his signature look like? <laughs> Yo! Ooh, how copy it, copyable <laughs> is it? Um, Sergio uh, Ilasando for the YM Music, Paul Lay for the YM Conversion. So we'll do the normal. Let's do a normal start. Let's find out. Okay. So you're trying to eliminate all the blocks. So now, and the arrows keep continuous, keep your block continuous. There's no um, timer, so do it's I, okay. Do I... So let me just start you off. So do the green one first. Yeah, throw it up there, and then it'll end up you getting that red block at the end. Now, if you hit that red block up there, it'll kill the red blocks, give you the yellow block. You do the yellow blocks, it'll give you the purple block. So you're gonna do like this, nice. And then if you do the purple blocks, Still have, and then you'll match a purple block with a purple block, and then you get a anything block. An anything block. Oh, so I kind of feel like what? That's the play. And then that. Then you get a green. Then you should do the green. Okay. So oh, I'm. Oh, oh no. No, I'm screwed. See, I'm not very good at this game yet. So yeah. Oh, I think you're screwed. John, help us. <laughs> That's okay. I'll do it again. So it is. It is a puzzle game. Okay. So you gotta think. So if you do the reds, that'll give you a yellow, but it'll leave a red. Or that. Then do the um, yellows. yellows, yeah. Then obviously the purples. Purple. Then you get a star. I kind of feel like doing yellow and then red. Hmm, I think I might have needed... No, I think I, I think I can. But if you do the green... F oh, that'll leave a green. That might be a one will leave a yellow. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Yeah. Let's see. I'll just leave a green. Do a red. That'll give you... Get rid of that. Then you do the red again. Hit that green. Then you get the green. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I'm uh, failed. <laughs> Sorry. This is so hard. <laughs> toss, toss, toss. Let's think this out again. Not enough points to continue. Now, you don't need to get rid of all of them Still necessarily. Them. Okay, cool. Let's try this purple. Yeah. This is 
purple we gotta just get rid of. And so purple's done. Um, and we need yellow. We need a yellow. If you, mm, we'll leave a red if you do the red ones. I'll give you a yellow. So our last one we need is a yellow. Oh, okay. Let's try this. Do the reds. I'll give you a yellow. Then go over to do the yellow again. This one here. Yep. Then go over to do the yellow again. It'll give you a red. Then go over and do the red there. It'll give you a green on the left. No, the left. Oh, yeah. And then do the greens over there. Do the red. Maybe hit this red. Oh, nope. I would do the red on the front of the left. That'll give you a green. Then, oh, okay, well, go do the red one. Yes, yeah. Then do the green. Yep, that one. And then do the green. And then, and then we got it, right? I think. Yep, got it. That was probably far from the best I way think to do that it. Was... Oh, good night, Thrust. Good Thanks night, for Thrust. tuning in. Thanks, dude. Dude, you should take the next one. Okay. <laughs> do this. <laughs> uh, I need way more practice at this. So red feels natural to just delete, right? Cause it does. Because like, there's no there's no other red, so you may as well clear the field, right? True, but that'll give me a red. When I'm, and a knob is stuck. Oh, that's a good point. If I do this green, that'll give me a green, and then I can go and do that yellow. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, no, it'll give me a red. Okay, that's still cool. Still cool. Then I can do this. It'll give me a green. Oh, but then... Then I've got a yellow. So do we just need to basically get... 18 got... more. See how many left, oh, I think. Oh, okay. That's good. Or the goal is four. No, the goal is four left. So we don't have to do all of them. So if I do that, it's purple. Then I can get a yellow back. After I do the next purple. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. That does a bunch. That's it. Then I can do this one. Remember the Game Boy Advance wasn't back then. That wasn't until I did it. SP... Lots of pissed off people who knew you felt that you were obviously. Oh, that's right! Fuck, you're so right. It was. It wasn't until the GBA SP. didn't have a backlit. No, either? it didn't yet. It was. Ooh. It was the and that was the SP was the one that changed it. You're so right about that. Cause yeah, I remember like I yeah because I remember there was one and you're right. It was the SP that was like finally. No, no. It was like finally I can actually just play at night. I don't need to. <laughs> um, yeah, the Game Boy SP. There was one game I played though, which was so cool. Um, and what it what they did is they had a solar panel yeah, connected to the to the what? cartridge, and what? it would detect whether it was night or I'm day. And you would play a different. It was the same levels, but it's fundamentally different what? depending on if it was night or day. Um, Can somebody so, look that up. I've it's, never it's a, heard it's of a that. really a buck tie is what it says. Yeah, that's it's, it's, it's a, a Japanese game then. Yeah, it was for. It was just like I've never ever played anything like that before it was a crazy game design i was like i remember um playing it and just and but you could shine a light on it for long enough oh. that you could you could turn it into day if okay. you needed to but it was neat because it was limiting what you could do during the day and night cycles right but i've never played anything like that before i thought that was so innovative that is and never seen anything like it since of really like creative design Oh, did it. Now I'm he said it's them. the original go out and touch grass. <laughs> yeah, that was how it was marketed. They were like, they were trying to get people to play outside, and they were like, if you if you go out with your <clears throat> with your portable. So we did this. Uh, yeah, it's a very cool puzzle game. Great colorful graphics. I could just mess graphics. around and play this for a long time. Then beautiful work, John Hancock. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think he's like the creator of it, and, the, and then he's taken it to a bunch of platforms. It's also on Jaguar as well. Oh, so sick. Uh, on um, Genesis as well. Bomber Hero. Bomber Hero by Anthony Quinlan, 2600, and uh, Marco Sabetta for graphics. Hideo Kojima made it, man. That makes sense. He's a, he, one of those genius um, designers of games, right? One of those. So, part, part of Bomberman. Do I have to press it again? To no. Oh, maybe. Try it. Nope. Get run! Oh, 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 oh no, not like <laughs> You're this. Safe now. Okay, I made some. I I pushed it at the best worst time. <laughs> You're still good. You haven't lost anything. I will say, man. Oh, get out of there! Oh, oh he's gonna die! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Oh, maybe! Oh, he's gonna fire! Oh, he's getting away! Put one right away! Get in there! Get in there! There you go! 
Good chance he's going to oh. go through it right now. This is a work in progress. I got to say, the timer on these bombs is pretty. Yeah, the game is running a, a little bit slower than than um, obviously the original. But it is a work in progress. It's so cool, It'll be, uh, It is. Like... This is this needs to be ported to like every system. We have a twenty six hundred version, um, that's be that's in the works, um, and it's and it's super awesome, high resolution graphics. Yeah, it's me just saying that the backlight would chew through the batteries. That's probably why they didn't include the it for so long. The SP was just late enough that the um that the lithium ion battery became practical. That makes sense. Yeah. That must have been the limitation. But I remember just as a player being so frustrated because you couldn't see your game most of the time. <laughs> but if you think about the competition to the Game Boy, they all failed yeah. against the Game Boy because Nintendo knew that people didn't want two hours of gameplay. They wanted six or eight. That's right. Especially with a portable console, right? Because yeah. you can just hang out and... Exactly. You're not gonna, You're going to be out for more than two hours. What... You're going to be on a car ride for more than two hours. What they did, too, that was so game-changing is you could connect the Game Boys together and trade. Yeah. Um, which is just like... There was nothing like that before that. No. It was just so cool. I mean, there might have been. I, shouldn't, I, sh I shouldn't make I'm statements sure like that. Yeah, I'm I certain know. there's something. But well, I mean, there's I, always but something. It was yeah. the first that I'd seen like that uh, is a better way of putting it where yeah. it's just like you could go to school and like plug your Game Boy into someone else's and then like... Yeah. You know. Play their stuff. Uh, or trade with them, right? Be like, I got this Pokemon. Oh, the Pokemon games. And like... Yeah. Um, so they would interact. Not just head to head, but you can like literally... Yeah. You could duel each other or you could trade trade resources and things like that. The link cable was around from the start of Game Boy, but nothing made good use of ah, it. Ah, that makes sense. Mm. I'm so happy Chad knows these things because I can just... I just talk out of my ass <laughs> and then it's like you guys actually know the real answers. There's, there's actually a... Um, kind of a, an internet rule is if you say something wrong, it'll be corrected faster to be right rather than you asking what is the answer. <laughs> That's right. I can't remember. It's like... Oh, there was like uh, there's a funny meme which someone said that people, if you ask a question, you're far less likely to get it answered. But if you just go into Reddit and make a statement that's, that's wildly exactly wrong, it. that's exactly <laughs> it. it will be like this her hordes of people. Yeah, yeah. Be oh, like... there's no door. Okay, this is very early. I don't think there's anything else. I think it's just the start. Well, there you go. We have defeated the first level. Uh, next game is the Um Actually Rule. Yeah, that's, that's a good way. It, um that might be the name of it. The Um Actually Rule. If it isn't, it should be because that's really funny. It's somebody's name, if I remember correctly. Next one's Bubble Bobble, which is two players. So we're going to plug it in. Yeah, more of a proof, in, proof of concept. That's true. But I count proof of concept as work in progress. Anything you can play yeah. is a game for me. Bubble Bobble, dude, I remember Bubble And I'd leave it up to the nomination committee to say, Whoa, hey, is it good enough? Dude, I remember this game. I actually oh, know this yeah. game. By Old Style on Bobby, Bobby Clark, Synth Papaloos on Music. Oh, I'm joined in. There we go. Button for jump, button for bubble. Then jump up and pop them. Pop them. Other button to pop, jump up? Yeah. Whoa. And then collect all the yummy treats. Yum. Give it to yum, me. Yum, Give yum, me yum, a banana. Yum. Potassium. So this, one of my favorite games. Oh yeah, you can jump through this. It's so, yeah, you can jump up and not go through down. Yeah, my sibling growing up, uh, we had this on a console. It might have been actually the Game Boy. Or, uh, yeah. or I think it might have been a Game Boy version Did it of this? scroll the screen? I don't remember. Because the Game but, Boy did. It but didn't I, have enough room to have the full. But, I, but they played like, like thousands of hours of this game. Like you would just, when I looked over at them, they'd be playing it. Ooh, I fire. You have what is fireballs? Where are we progressing? We need to progress. But for, but I mean, I thought it was for, for a second that game which you have the like the bubbles that you shoot and then they explode. It's almost like arrows, and you have like a whole screen of things. You have, yes. For some reason, that's what I thought it was. But there, this is totally the. There are lightning like, bolts that do that in this game. So. Um. But yeah, I remember. This isn't earlier version but it should oh you got it right on the <laughs> you got it perfect let's try and do this one again oh because it should it should progress to multiple levels ah he's so angry he just became a blaster give me the potassium
What is happening? Why isn't it progressing? It's super weird! Yep, perfect example of why voting on the version available at cutoff is required for the awards. Shoot the fireballs! Shoot them! <laughs> oh, old style's here! Yo. There's a bug in that version. Do we, oh. gotta, we should pop our bubbles? Is that what we gotta do? I'm not sure. I have fireballs, though. Oh, now your fireball's gone. Goodbye, fireball. There we go! Oh, so he was saying run out the run out the fireballs. Ah, oh, makes sense. Okay. So we got it, we progressed. We just did a bug. Yep. No, it was a feature. It's Whoa. it's a feature. Extra fireball. Uh, time for fireballs. Some potassium. Fireball time. Give me potassium. Oh, okay, left. There we go. Mm, more potassium. Yeah, in the in the home rewards, there has to be a cutoff at some point. Uh, you, yeah, it's and like, you just gotta cut it off. The fact that we have work in progress, I think I posted recently somewhere in the FAQ. I just Ooh, made some an beer, FAQ. Some beer. Some beer. That. Um, work in progress is a very strange category for an award show. Yeah, it, it is, hey, because you're kind of like, are you voting on the potential of what it could become or what it is? Kind of where it, it's, I, I always saw it as an encouragement. It's like, you're doing great. People like it. You got nominated. Keep going with it. Yeah, and you think of just like when you look at a game too, like there's some that are like... You know, some work in progresses are so close to being done, and some are just yes. in really early stages. It can be, I think it might probably be the hardest category to um, to vote for, because you- It's you, hard. Because yeah. it's like what, uh, the value that you sort of prescribe to it. Yeah, see, this is such a classic. The ghosts, no! Oh. No, I was doing so well. <laughs> Give, me. Give me my bubbles. Give me my bubbles. Ah, ah. It's tough that you can't fall. You can jump up, but not down. So it creates yeah, this. Yeah, this like, level is is it creates up like a, only really. like a different factor, right? Come on up here, ghosty. There you go. Old style once said, "Oh, don't don't finish the levels too quick because you don't get the bonuses." But I'm I'm always like I've always like finished levels super quick. But apparently, if you wait long enough, there's there's like extra stuff They're that happens. There ghostly remains. Yeah, I, I, I that feels right. I remember like when my sibling was playing, they like they would they had all these tactics trying to get like high scores and stuff. They just yeah. I remember glancing over and they would just be. Oh, so let's not this kill game. them all. Oh, sorry. Let's not kill them all immediately. So don't pop them all yet. Just leave that one light, one guy left. Oh, that's a. Ocean. What is See, this? This is what happens when you don't kill him too. Give fast. it to me, give it to me. I want bonuses. It. Oh, the guy died anyway. I want the dandelions. <laughs> I need my dandelions. Give to me. Yum, yum. Oh, time go. Can get some dandelions. Oh, now it looped around. Cool. Oh no, it has oh. different characters. Oh shit, I died already. Okay. Wow, this is a classic game. It is, and I'm so excited for this uh, to progress. Next one is Drelbs. Drelbs by Kelly PCL Jones. Kelly, let's see what you got, Kelly. Great job, old style. Initializing Drelbs. Four thousand. Loaded into memory location four thousand. We actually played this not too Whoa, long ago. Look, we got an Oger. This game pair? is crazy. What's this? Okay, so start it up, and I'll try and explain it to you. Okay. You got to make squares by flipping these 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 things. How many squares do I need to make? All the squares. <laughs> I need them all to be squares. Yeah. And and you and once you've completed a square, um, there you go. Now you can work off that square and do the squares around it. Oh, watch out for that. There, go down. Oh, he's messed you up. Oh. Ah, run away! Uh, and you can trap these guys in squares. Wait, aren't those squares? Why aren't they there going? You, go. you see, there's two squares. What's happening? I think maybe you didn't make the squares. There you go. Now you have to actively make the squares. Oh, there you go. Oh, that makes sense. Because if he makes the squares, it doesn't count. And this game is crazy. So if you go in it, well, it's her face. Not, not the dragon. You go into another world where you do other things. 
it's 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 one of those games that's ported from like a insane 80s game where yes. nothing makes sense like barely makes sense even as with as the, my uh, life just feel like an insane 80s game <laughs> you know what i mean like, why is this happening yeah me too Oh, you can't. Oh, get in when it's uh, a woman. Not not that guy. Nope. No, uh, he yeah. killed my square. <laughs> it's messing your square up. There you go. Oh, you kind of messed up your what? squares, too. He's taking away <laughs> now my you've got a row of non-squares. Oh, that's a good one. Nice. Oh, get that art. Get it. Get the art. What's that do? It's been a while <laughs> since I played. I think it just pauses everyone. It's been a while. I don't know if you can get them or not, if they're vulnerable. I want to enter a different world. Oh, get in there. Oh, get that diamond. Oh, oh. Get the diamond. Get in there. Oh. Now it's crazy land. Uh, now collect all those guys. And you try and shoot them. Oh, no. You just try and get them. I thought you had to shoot them at that guy. Now watch out for that guy. Don't get hit by him or by his bullet. Oh, 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 give it to me. <laughs> give it to me. Gets harder when there's more of the enemies on the screen. Then it's hard to get the last because they kind of hang around the last one and you're like, get away from there. Get away from my guy. You ogre. You did it. You rescued all your friends. We got him. We got him. Okay. What is happening? <laughs> it's madness. Oh. Pure madness. Oh, oh, no. I ran into the enemy. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. And really, you try and optimize the number of squares you make. Yeah, there's definitely tactics to this game that I am completely <laughs> fucking up. Yeah. Oh, it's totally fine. Maybe you can't. Maybe there's always outliers. I'm looking at the squares in my head. It almost feels like there's maybe like a number of like squares. Smart. Yeah, like you look at like. Yeah, because the edges, they don't ever make a full square like they can't. I don't know if you can get them at this point. I'm not sure. You might be able to. Give me the diamond. Give going to me. the uh, alternate level Ooh, there. Is... Dan says, this is a cool game. I played it a few nights ago. Now there's two guys. And it gets much harder. Still like... Oh. No, I was just trying to be... Okay. Get a good idea of the game. But it is crazy and it is fun. Next one is a rat trap. Oh, we need to plug in a different joystick cool. for this one because it has special controls. Sounds good. Rat trap and then stone age. Yep. So cool. Almost there. <clears throat> Gotta find my adapters. Oh. Where are they? Where's my special adapters? Should be here. Should I hit it anyways? No, I'll wait. No. I'll wait. I'll wait till the controller. I'm trigger happy. I'm trigger happy. Maybe we'll just use a Sega a three button controller. Okay. Cool. This also works. I was gonna plug in a six button controller. Maybe they're on my desk. Um, I remember a game that I just loved was a Castlevania game on the uh, on the Game Boy Advance. Oh there's, yeah. Uh, there's there's a there's a couple of them and there's one in particular. I have to look up what the name is, but man, it was just I played so much it of it. It worked well on the small screen? Oh, one of the best games I've wow. ever played actually. It's just really amazing the the depths of it. And I saw people like it's quite a huge community of people online still playing it actually. Cuz ah. it's such a it's such a like a great one. It was my intro to like um to the to the world of Castlevania. Yeah. It's not doing anything. No. Let's try this again. Probably because I held down the button. 
I want to say Circle of the Moon, but I could be wrong about that. First of those was my introduction to Castlevania. Okay. What? Do you guys remember which Game Boy Advance Castlevanias there are? It'd be, if you if you remember, I'd love because I wanted to. I'll, if I see the title, I'll know which one it is. It may not have been the f first one released, right? Oh yeah, just, it's just the first one you played, right? It didn't have a subtitle. It was just called Castlevania. Okay, oh, cool. That's possible. Could be because I've been plugging them into port joystick port two. Uh, okay, uh, let's get the in plugged into the right joystick let's port. Let's do it. Oh, that makes sense. That makes <laughs> a lot of sense. Yeah. Like, what is nothing working? Rat trap. Oh, it's so fast on this one. There we go. This is for the power gamers. It is. You get extra buttons for extra power. Okay, this should recognize the buttons. So, um, try the buttons. That's blue door, that's yellow door, that's red door. So, let me see. Okay, okay. Oh no, I, I need the actual adapter. I really wanna, want you to play it with the proper adapter. You might be on my desk. Die. Oh, I see. I'm a rat. I'm still understanding. Yeah, you gotta eat all the cheese. I'm almost certain they're on the wall here. Here they are. Yay! Hey, we got it. Now, do you want to use that controller? Or do you want to use a um, joystick style? Oh, any whichever one works is fine with me. Okay, we'll do this one because it's out. Don't want to delay it too long. So the Mega 7800 will give us access to all three buttons. Or SNES to Atari. Oh, okay. Well, we found it. Okay. Oh, oh, no, no, no. I'm going to hand over to break something. <laughs> Don't. How did I push a button and it says, first thing it says is break. Please break my system. <laughs> Not like this. <laughs> I'm going to tell you oh, this. Uh, oh, let's, let I me. pushed a button and it appears your 7800 has exploded. But they really shouldn't have had that button. But you still need to go into options to set it up. Oh, in... Uh, on the cartridge? Because there's no options here. We're out of options. <laughs> Oh, it's all good. No worries, oh, Daryl. No worries at all. We're, we're just hanging out. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Oh, cool. Oh. That's not it. Oh. Does it not? Let's just try this. Break the game. No. <laughs> this current bit, the current use uses Genesis. You're the older version that only does SNES to Atari. Oh, okay. Well, we will use SNES to Atari then. Sorry. Put that aside. Get this. Ooh. Never. I've never touched this one before. It's a new controller. For use with super advantage. Yeah, it will give you a super advantage. We got these like toggles too. Yeah, those are auto uh, fire. Um, you don't want to turn those on for some games because it'll be not to your advantage. It's cool the feel of this controller here. It's, I've never seen this before. I think this one is over here. Nope, there it is. There it is. Oh yeah, you've got a 360 controller right there, hey? Oh, oh there you it is. See, yeah, we could have seen you it. You see what I mean? Yeah, with the Yeah, it's, it's got the, the dual stick and a D-pad. That it. We were all right. Yay. <laughs> okay. Participation awards for everyone. 
Yeah, imagine two people arguing. It has a D pad. No, it's got two. <laughs> it's like right there. <laughs> it turns there. out it has both. <laughs> okay. Okay. So starter up. One of those buttons. One of those many, many buttons. Rat trap. Okay, I'm gonna give you the powers. Maybe you have to start it bef without this first. Oh no. There's too many controllers. I think I have to start it and then plug in the SNES to Atari. Oh, good evening. Thank hey, you, Jedekiah, for the cheers. Good evening to you as Yo, well. Oh, we're, we're coming to the end of the stream, but we still, we still got a little bit to go. We're, yep. We've gone, we've done a marathon of games, but by marathon, kind of rapid fire. <laughs> yep. Rapid fire marathon. We got two games left. Oh, what? Just restarted? Didn't like me unplugging that joystick. That's for sure. Let's try this again. Oh, it says it doesn't control the oh, menu. Oh, okay. So now I can plug it in. There we go. Then we'll plug in SNES to Atari. Okay, we're good. Let me try the menu options. Sorry. There we go. It is working. At least the button is working. Novice Hall of Fame. Or maybe it's auto cycling. Dude, this can be hard to get on the leaderboard with zero points. <laughs> it's gonna be a it's challenge. Gonna be a, we might we might be able to make it onto the leaderboard. We're gonna really grind it out and see if we can make it. None of these buttons are doing anything. Look, you're moving around though. What's happening? You just no, turn into a dog now. This it's is just, just this is the demo. I was just gonna say you're crushing it for a guy who can't. Oh, no, okay. There it worked. Oh, maybe because auto fire's on. That could have influenced a lot of things. Okay, that's the blue door. Red, yellow. Okay, it's these three. Red, yellow, blue? Oh, no, it's these three. Unfortunately, they don't map <laughs> to yeah. the same colors. No! So you're gonna have to not look at the buttons, but no. Okay, now we got it. Okay. So, you can start with one of those, I think, or the yellow. There you go. So it's those three, and then kind of memorize the doors. So when you press the button, I'm guessing the yellow button, you turn into a dog, then you can attack the cats for a tiny bit. Barely. And unlike Pac-Man, you can accumulate. Go after the cats. Oh, oh that bird still gets you. No matter, even if you're a dog. Okay, bird I'm still is... trying to, so, so that's, that does one, that does one, that, that does, does one, okay. And then the yellow turns you into a dog when you're in danger. Do it. Press the button, yellow. There, eat the cats. Yum. I don't want to eat cats. No, <laughs> well, cats. let's say you're just scaring the cats away. Oh, run, run away! Bird, no! Now, no. The, the way to get away from the... Turn into a dog! way to get away from the bird is to go to the inn, in the middle. It, it's it's a tough game to wrap your head around at first, because there's a lot going down. I'm relieved that we made it on the leaderboard, though. Hit options sure. and select color, color buttons. Oh, okay. Let's see. Cool. I'll give you the powers to showcase. Okay. Oh. Oh, that was... It's a start. Hawk. Color button. Color button. Did that? Did that work? Yellow, blue, red. Yeah, Yo! there we okay, go. Okay, this makes a big difference. I'm gonna play for just a little bit to show. Yeah, should do it. Do, do it proper. So, you accumulate the bones, and unlike Pac-Man, you don't have to use them right away. That's really nice, actually. Yep. Did the bones are what turn you into the dog, oh, press right? The wrong button. Uh, yes. Cats. Delicious cats. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh, luckily, I had an extra bone. What's Let's that cheese do? 
Give you bonus. Some, let's give you some points. And you gotta collect all the pellets. Kind of like kind of like. Yeah, that. eating all the cheese. Oh boy. Ah! Oh, the trap bird. The bird wow, this Damn is it. this is a relentless. It's intense. It's intense. I feel like just clearing the first level is a feat in and of itself. It's a hawk. Could carry some smaller dogs away. True. I'm gonna play one more and then I hand back to you. Cool. Good to kind of clear out the area near the cat. Get some bones going. safe into a dog not from it. the birds though oh no it's not safe oh those are four transports if you go in the inn in the middle it, it picks one of the four to uh transport you to wow this game requires some skill man oh yeah it's intense there's a lot of cats once the hawk comes in you're like oh God. enjoy your meal <laughs> okay there you go I need practice at this. Obviously. Oh. How do you turn into a uh, do onto the dog again? It's not it's yellow, green. it's green, okay. Yeah. But the hawk kills you no matter what. The only way to escape from the hawk is to go into the inn. It's to run away. It's to run away. Evade. But that's hard when you're in the corner because the hawk kind of makes a beeline for you. Oh, I hit the blue and it didn't turn oh, me. Oh, no. Green. Green. Oh, that's... Blue is blue door. Try yeah, again. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Oh. Uh, I have more of an issue with the disembodied giant mouse head. Not, at, not scaring the cats, but the dog head the same size as where they draw the line. That's right, Gamma Dev. <laughs> quick oh <laughs> disclaimer kev says some objects may not be to scale <laughs> yeah i think the mouse would almost be just one pixel if uh... it happens man it's yep. all good okay try and get to the inn go 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 again there you go see the bird went away Yay, demonstrated the end for the bird. <laughs> Gorgeous graphics. Oh. Uh, an excellent conversion of the come game. Come on, come on, come on. One more. You did oh, it! I beat the first level. Nice. That's like a feat in and of itself. Yeah. It's, it's... Time, to, it's time to retire on top. <laughs> so the dog bone pulls mass from pocket dimension to big in the mouse. You're playing. Smitty B says, well done. You're helping, you're helping out. Dog He's like, oh, this is a game with cats in it. I can help. Like, I see. <laughs> oh, oh you almost made it. Uh, what's going for? Great stuff. Okay, well, I'm so happy I made it through the first yeah, level. Honestly, that's a huge accomplishment. It is. You were able to show off enough. Oh, thank goodness. Tough, tough game though. It, yeah. It once you get good at it, it's. I think it's an acquired skill, for like everything that's going on on the screen. So we're down to the last game today. Last and but not least. is Stone Age by Anthony Quinlan, 2600, and Constantinos Ace, Geomalidis. This one, that's uh, yeah. cool. Um, by TIX Graphics. And it is a port of this. Ooh. Tabletop game, Caveman. So. You want to get those eggs, but you want to stun the dinosaur first with your... Uh, so throw it to the right. How do I do that? Um, while you're moving and when you're close to him... Oh, you got to get more. Go back to your cave. So you only get three at a time. Where's my cave? It's back Oh, here. you already got it. In newer versions, it shows. So you got to get... There you go. You stunned him. Now get the egg. Run back. Avoiding all the 
dropping uh, volcano ash. Make sure you stun him. Yeah. Or else he oh, I'm not, not able to move. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, that's a, that's a very edge case bug where if you stun him at the exact same time you get the egg, you can't move. But the likelihood of you running into it, well, was one to one, but from now on, not much. There you go. Well, now that I know the bug, I can avoid you it. You can avoid which the is bug, good. Yeah. I need my eggs. Dude, this is a very understanding mother. Smoothies. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're hitting, hitting her in the head. She can't do much about it. I like this animation of this guy. Yeah, he's great. How many do I need to collect? I think it's six. Cool. Then uh, on the second or third level, the pterodactyls come. Yo! Then you're in trouble. Cats, they're like, oh, feed me. It's dinner time. I know it is dinner time. We're in our last game. We can give you a, if the, if the chat gives you um, a ball full of treats, I think then you would be uh, satisfied for a tiny little bit. That could help. Who, who's willing to make the sacrifice? I have dropped the price on the ball because it was a little bit high. So I think it's 2000 now. It's vision is based Warning. on... Warning. 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 The treat ball is loose. Whoa! <gasps> Kittens, the treat ball. They're not quite associating it just yet. But they will. They're, they're ki they know something's happening that's good. But they're not like, oh my god, it's treats. Because it's kind of a new thing. Oh, is the pterodactyls there yet? Not, not yet. yet. Okay. Maybe this is too early for pterodactyls. I'm pretty sure they were in this. Oh, oh, careful, careful. Run. Ah. Oh, you're just far enough away. There you go. Treat balls loose. Who now... triggered that? Yeah. Pseudographics. Thank you so much. Sprite associated it. Yeah, they're, they're getting there. Now, I don't want to say this because I feel like um, the second you say such a statement, you, you live to regret it. But I would say the difficulty so far is not high. I think this is a, a pretty early version. Once the pterodactyls come in, it gets gets challenging. Oh, because they start stealing your eggs. Oh, okay. So we want to get to that stage. Yes. Because at the moment, this feels almost impossible to lose. Do you know what I mean? Because I'm here, right? I like yeah. stun him out of range. I grab it. And now I just hang out like inches away from him. He doesn't care. Yeah. I walk away. Like the only way I can die is if I really make a dumb mistake. Like I can hang out like right here, stun him. <laughs> yeah. I think it's when you can't get the egg without stunning them, but you can get really close. Cause like, look, I can be like right here in Come. range. <laughs> Come on, grab Don't it. Count your T-Rexes before they hatch. That's Come right. on, keep the ball in. Now, it's okay, it's here. about to pop off now. Oh, now it's now it's getting to the red zone. There's the pterodactyls. Cause you don't have any eggs to steal, so you're you're kind of like safe. So what do I moment. do when they're trying to steal? Do I have oh, to hit them? Oh, press the button, and it shoots it straight up. Oh, you missed. Oh, well, you don't have any eggs to steal yet. Okay, so this is this a, one now. You have now. There's a whole other level of tactics. Yeah. Uh oh, mistakes were made. Okay. Uh oh. Let's uh, see. I got this. Now it's getting hard. <laughs> or I'm just getting. I'm just being <laughs> stupid, trying to be greedy, trying to get too much done all at once. No. And gone. <laughs> Such is life. You steal from the dinosaur. The pterodactyl steals from you. It's Very understanding T-Rex, though. Oh, yeah. Incredibly understanding. Oh, are you done? All out? Yep, yeah, it's all done. Thank you, Pseudographics. This That'll game is all about patience, I feel. Stave off the cats for a little while. Yep. Ooh. Ooh. There you go. Spin. I will protect. I will protect my eggs. Fortunately, she does not know how to use her legs. Not yet. These are mine. <laughs> She's very busy. She's busy hatching eggs. She's doing a lot. You're going to come try to steal my stuff. I don't want to. That I rightfully stole. How dare you steal yeah, my stuff? Yeah, so I feel like stuff. definitely like a tactic in this game is you kind of hang out. You Kill just like... the pterodactyl so it gives you some time. Exactly. 
Even if the pterodactyl comes, you're still going to deal with it when that happens. It's so bound to come at some point. Oh, they ran out of them. Oh, there you go. But like here, I'm noticing it'll dive, and then it kind of like, and then you Makes get it easier, right? And you, you, there's like a timing that you can get, and then hit this guy. She's guarding her nest. That makes sense. No eggs in the nest, though. <laughs> do, 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 do. So this is a very actively progressing game, like in terms of development. So there's, it has gone on from this quite a bit. That makes sense. And and a number of these games in the list as well, because it's been it's been two months since since. But you know you have to stop the cutoff at some point because it's like okay, well, do I have to keep updating the games and then people have to reevaluate the games? But they've already voted and it's like oh, you have oh to... see this is interesting because it seems like the eggs are taking longer to uh, oh to roll out right so hatch yeah and you don't want to stun the dinosaur too quick because then you the egg won't be there in time. Case of egg coming up. And the the little um, I don't know what to call it. Lava balls start lower. Quite a bit lower now. Especially in the middle where you hang out, see how low it is? Yeah. Still not su like a super dangered yet. It's ramping though. It's yep. definitely like getting more active. <laughs> okay, have, didn't say she was smart. They did go extinct for a reason. Oh, okay. So right. I, I was certain that I that was the first one I'd miss. They didn't hang underground while the while the meteor hit. Yeah. So like in this <laughs> case, I'm just gonna defend. Oh, yeah. Defend. Because the egg's not even ready yet. Yeah. So this is a really, really quite faithful adaption in terms of the type of gameplay that was on this. Um, I remember playing this in. Um, the early 80s. I thought it was such a fun game. My friend had it. Hi. Ooh, lots of pterodactyls now. You're going to be uh, busy with them. Uh, pretty frequent. Uh, I think they might get closer and closer to the timing of the egg coming out. But I think as long as you shoot one down... And then immediately get the egg as quick as possible. Yeah, because in this in this case, right, like, what needs to happen is like, just kind of hang out, wait, like, hang out here, wait right. for the egg to like go. Finish. Time is getting tighter though. Give it some time, and then blast our dinosaur, get it back, and then now by the time this guy comes, defend. Yeah. So there's kind of a rhythm to it. You haven't really had a problem with running out of weapons. Well, you we have one left, but but I you don't really need three in the whole process. Especially if you hang out on the left, you can always refill. Yeah, and like there's no egg yet, so it's kind of, there's no point in concerning myself yeah. about going over there yet. And see, now that the timings happen, I'm gonna wait till the next pterodactyl comes. Actually, no, I'm gonna go for it. Oh, uh, which might well, have but been, you only have might have been to get mistake, sick, so you're done. Yeah. Smaby says it looks like the lava balls are aiming for you now. Yeah, they're like if you can't you can't sit still. Like you have to keep. Moving. Yeah, the lava balls are starting to like just practice. A little practice shot. So, this will be the last level. Yeah. Someday. <laughs> Give me your eggs. It is kind of a um, methodical game. Yeah, it's like it you is. You have to do this, then you have to do this, you have to wait for that. And I'd say the hitbox is pretty generous as well. For the pterodactyls? Uh, for, yeah. for both, right? You know? And like, I actually don't need to, like, even from here, I can hit them, right? Like, it's pretty, mm. the range is pretty fair. Yeah. Like, pretty forgiving. Like, there I hit them, but like, even even with those shots, like, there's been some shots on these pterodactyls that I was like, am I going to miss? And I'm like, oh, actually, pretty damn close. Mm. But like, here, like, you see, like, yep. the timing doesn't really need to be that precise. Yeah. Like, if this were smaller. Feels like a play on the school bus game and watch. I mean, Essentially, these are just bigger game and watches. Ooh, in a nice. That's the first one I lost. Oh, 
It's just because I was too far away. What's interesting is you have... Because there's a speed of walking. You've got to be... Ooh, watch me fail. You think, you think the pterodactyl's getting faster now? Looks no, like what are. it was was I, I tried to get the pterodactyl when I was in the middle. Oh. Um, and you're kind of out of range. You kind of need to be almost on the, the left-hand side, right? Because as he comes, it's it pretty smaller. easy to hit him. Yeah. Um, oh, shit. Oh, those lava balls are pretty low in the middle. Yeah, things are getting pretty aggressive. So, like... I'm going to just kill this dactyl. Dactyl. <laughs> the dactyl. But yeah, it's pretty done. Fun. It's pretty forgiving. So Level great, seven. Oh. great graphics. Nice rhythm. Not really rhythm game, but... I'd say, I, yeah, there is a rhythm to it. There is sure, a rhythm but... to it. There we go. We've made it through the 7800 games. What an amazing batch of games yeah, they've come cool. up with this year. And such a variety, too. Like, you go from game to game. And it's a totally different genre, totally different uh, play style, different controls, different controllers, different deals, two players, one player. Um, it's all over the board. Um, yeah, really, really fun. I played through what, 17 games today. Rapid fire. Rapid fire. So you ha if you have not voted, hi, in the 7800, there's a good overview if you want to delve deeper into some games. Yeah, maybe we didn't play them enough for you. D definitely download them. And if you check them out. If you like the look of any of them, you know, download them yourself to play. Try yeah. that out. Or check out some of the shows that, that were, yes. that uh, James probably has played them already yeah. more deeply if you want to see some deep dives. Yep. Yep. Exactly. And that's, and that's why we play them. Um, before the awards before the voting is over so people can get an idea if they don't have time they can look at us playing and they can you can get a kind of a good feel for the game um so yeah oh, uh, voting still open for nine more days uh get your votes in lots of people are voting i'm very happy with the numbers um yeah they're right on pace for last year hopefully to uh to go past those numbers so we get more involvement from the community and give their voice and absolutely and uh then the award show is after that let's just take a look at what the schedule is coming up Oof, opened up all the list there there we are so the next episode it is atari lynx and jaguar uh there are four two categories in each of them I believe I'll have to check again. No, I think there's three in one. Uh, and we're also going to be playing the new Jaguar game, Rocketeer Rebounds from Cyrano J. Um, very looking forward to that. It's right in a genre of a game that I really liked on the Commodore 64 called Bounced. So it's kind of an homage to that, but obviously the graphics are well updated, well past the C64. Um, and then next Friday is the last day of playthroughs, and we're going to be playing the Atari 8-bit uh, 5200 games, and also throwing in a new Atari 8-bit game, Tony, that has really detailed graphics. Monochrome game, but you get m much more detail because you're only using one color. I'm really looking forward to that. I've been watching the progression of that through the last pff, many months, six months. Then on the 24th, it's a Saturday. All the co-hosts will be here. Right. The cats will be here in bow ties. That's right. You heard it. Bow ties for you. Cats. cats and uh, it's a big production. We get out the green screen. We have nice backgrounds and nice intros for all the nominees. We've got some helpers coming out as well to man the cameras and the switchboard. Makes a big difference. Yep. One, one year, uh, Erlen had to do it. He yeah. had to be on the camera the whole time. Where it was short. It was during COVID. Yeah, was, we were very short staffed. It was but some COVID times. Marilyn donned a mask and was a trooper and uh, helped us out with there. Yeah, the mask era. Yeah, oh, the era. Was so much mask. fun. <laughs> um, and then a tiny short break to recuperate from all the organization of that because it's a lot to put on that show and to set up ZPH season finale. It kind of coincides with the years and the awards at the yeah, same time. Yeah, it does time. feel like a natural sort of like, you know, yeah. there's, that's it's a sort of bookend to oh, whatever right. business is going on. Yeah, it's on. like, look at all these games that came out this year, how, how awesome everything went. And then we celebrate it and we have a little break. And then we come back and we'll be, we're doing developer spotlights on Steve Englehart. He's got so many games he's made over the years. We're going to celebrate all the games he's done. 
Uh, then there's the basic 10 liner contest. There's already two entries at least. Just saw another one posted today. Just a video of it, not for download yet. And then a huge, well, not as huge as the other ones, but a three day 7800 40th anniversary classic gaming countdown. It's the 40th anniversary of the 7800 that we played today. So we're going to finally get to play all the old school games that came out. No homebrew. Those will be After Dark for three episodes. We're playing all the 59 original games in the 7800. I'm actually looking forward to it. Um, we did it for the Jaguar. We did it for the 2600. So now I have a sense of the history of those two That's systems. Right. Now I'll get a sense of the system, uh, history of the system of the 7800. Because I, I haven't played all of them. A lot of them are classic arcade conversions. And I know a lot of those arcade, but some of them. Ninja Golf. I've never played Ninja Golf. And everybody goes... It's so awesome. You've got to play Ninja Golf. Um, so happy uh, six year anniversary to ZPH today. That's right. Glad you can join me for this good stuff. six year anniversary. So don't forget to raid. Yes, that's right. I've got it right there on the list. Raid. Do the raiding. And we've been doing, I don't know if he's, uh, he's broadcasting right now, but we've been throwing it over to, no, he's not. Atari Beer Pong, I think. But Atari Beer Pong's not broadcasting right now. So we'll just check out, let's see. Who should we throw it over to? Who's? We've got some old school any usually NES is like the limit yeah. for Twitch gaming. So I kinda have to find one that I think people here would kinda enjoy. Well, there's 12 Mario. hours of retro games. We played Mario. Let's do it. Why not? Let's do that one. Okay. So I'm going to throw it over to there. To VKTV. So thank you, everybody, for joining us today. Al Nefer, Smitty B, uh, Gamma Dev, Pseudo Graphics, Stan yeah, ABC, and... Vitoko. Will hey. the 800 be fixed by next week? I, I kind of have to get on it because next week we play 8-bit games. Yeah, and, and, and stick around for VK TV. Give them some yeah. love. Tell them you, you came from ZPH. And, yeah, and well, they'll know. <laughs> It'll be flashing on oh, the yeah, screen, but sure. yeah. But, but drop it in the chat. Say yeah. hi. Be nice. Hi. Yeah, be very nice to them. They're playing some Mario games. Uh, Daryl1970, it's Kev. Um, who else? Jedekaya is hanging out with us. Old Style, enjoying playing your games. We played two of uh, their nominated games. Oh, buddy, that's my jacket. Don't destroy jackets. <laughs> They're hungry. They're getting it's, fed right it's after ready, this. It's ready for food. Well, uh, thanks for hanging out, guys. It was so awesome. Yeah, I think I read all the names. So, oh, you're very welcome, Smitty. Oh, intended for mature audiences. Are you guys mature? Luckily, all of our audience is mature. Be fun. Um, so we'll be back on Tuesday. Have a great weekend, everyone. And uh, we will see you soon. Bye-bye, everyone. Hang Bye. in there for uh, the raid.